Oh, what do you think of slime? I like him. What do you think of Nick? I like him. So it's just Aiden, you hate. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Aiden. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> you put the one that says dad on my so mic. It, actually, it says pop. Oh, we got a sound speed? That's As the same speed? thing. That's the same thing. It's just a different word for it. Yeah, okay, but what it means, because the shit I bought is all, like, wine mom shit. That says bubbly bar. One of them says, like, wine. The other You're says just deflecting. Pop. But I what like... I'm saying is it doesn't say dad. It it's supposed pop. to be read like this and pop like a bubble of champagne. Pop. Not like <laughs> pop, like not old like, man? Not like what he Not like what he did. Like papa? <laughs> pop. Pop. Jeez, oh, pop. Fuck you. I think the farm's going under. <sighs> Welcome back to the yard. You might notice something missing. Really? Who? What? Uh, I see someone occupying that chair, frankly. <laughs> I, I would say Aiden normally wears shoes. Maybe that's... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah shoes, it, not, there's no a couple... Shoes on. Hey, old heads in the, in the <laughs> comments, you might see a couple references changed up, but those are for the, the, the mm -hmm. real for the mm -hmm. For the oh, deep cuts. We have to one-take Jake this, by the way. We have to. I've never not. No, that's not true. We ha here's why. Because we're doing this entire episode late, and so... Archie has to like cut the audio and just be able to ship it, right? Right. So we have to one take Jake. The Jacob. audio itself. The audio, right. So we can't say anything bad. Right. We can't like do anything we would need to cut on the audio because mm -hmm. literally I'll have to stay up and then wait for Archie to send him to me and then tell him what we have to cut. <laughs> so I really need so, you guys. Uh, dude, I'm sitting I here. I really, really need and you. I'm mulling over the Ooh. C word, which would demonetize the whole thing. He no, could, not on audio. The, he could bring the whole shit oh, you're down. Right. Yeah, we can stay right now. You're true. <laughs> true. <laughs> that was just. What is up with that? Are you okay? <laughs> that's that harsh. That some a, suppressed that was, misogyny that was, that you want to talk about? Oh no, the gamer stream fell down. Yeah, that's the did dark my, side of that. Did my horns knock them down? Your horns did. So I, th I just went there and I got some stuff that I thought would be cool. Aiden is the Christmas cow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I have. I have a cow hat that has horns on it. I almost said antlers. They're it's similar. The antlers of you're wearing cow hat. I am wearing Bo Burnham merch, and I'm oh, not wearing anything on my head. Oh, you bought it. I did buy it. Yeah, it's cute. It's nice. It's what an the, independent blank. Is it like don't panic like the house is on fire, but you should panic? I think yeah. Oh, I'm wearing a Tim and Eric shirt. No a, hat though. It's a mustard brand because I didn't get to do my hair all the time in New Hampshire, and I miss like having nice hair. You miss. You never not be been. honest with me. No, I did. I it was like greasy because I put a hat on. In a beanie all day. I was going to say, New Hampshire. is it because, is that why you had the hat on in all your YouTube videos? Yeah. To hide your shame. It was just not to hide my shame, but my ugly hair. Is that why Schlatt wears a hat? No. He just doesn't care, right? I just don't think he cares, and it's probably like better than, I mean, I think he's probably like doesn't want his unkempt hair. But you do it out of shame. I just do it because You're I didn't ugly. do my hair. Yeah, because you look like shit, so you don't want to do I, it. it. You don't want to show you, people that you look bad. You look bad. really bad. It's like when you, girls don't wear makeup, and then they put a bag on their head. <laughs> I don't know what they do. I don't think they do, do that. You, yeah, women do that a lot. Yeah. yeah. I, you know when they do that. Do you that. remember being in like community college, and like like a quarter of the girls would just have bags on? Actually, you yeah, know what's that funny? That was weird. They all looked like Faust from Guilty Gear, and they're just <laughs> throwing shit at you. Like, oh, shit. She just didn't have time today, huh? So... <laughs> I was home in New Hampshire. <laughs> Spinning the shaft. <laughs> I went to a childhood friend's house, and his uh, his grandfather, great-grandfather was there. Old guy. His name's Dick. <coughs> yeah. And the, like they're telling me stories about this guy. Apparently, he's DJ, and he stays up to like 6 a.m. He's on like a... He doesn't like start his day until like 2 p.m. How old is he? Old guy. He's like 90. Okay. Oh, and I saw some napkins for a 90th birthday at the spot, and I was gonna get those. That would, but then I'm like, thick. I'm not gonna get this because someone's gonna turn 90 and then need these. Yeah, and, and that'd they, be <laughs> fucked up. There'd be none in. Yeah, because when you when you make it 90 years, the worst thing that could be happening to you is not finding anything at Party City for I your birthday. You don't care. <laughs> you don't care. <laughs> it's your dude. This hat, dude. The shit they make is so cheap. This is literally cardboard. And it looks like dude, shit. It's on, the crazy. on the outside, it kind of looks nice though. You know what's funny is until you spun it around, I actually thought it was nice. That's, it looks. Nice. I, I actually thought it, it was deceptively. They sell it. The Low gloss quality. sells it. That's a good product then. Anyway, so you got this 90-year-old dude. Yeah. Huge balls. Huge, huge penis. Huge penis. Boobies flying everywhere. And he's talking, and he does this thing, and Peter is explaining to this, my stepfather, and, he, and Peter's like laughing through this. He's like, yeah, he's uh, 
you know, he's an older guy, and so like, uh, like we'll strike up a conversation, like, uh, like Ginny, who's like a like another family friend of ours, who's younger. She's like 45, 50, whatever. I was gonna say that's the oldest name you can have. Yeah, I mean, compared to him, she's There's younger. no one <laughs> named Ginny that's like compared seven. Compared to him, yeah. she's younger. She's one of the younger people in yeah. the family. She's it's around Ginny like 50. and Ruth. And <laughs> uh, I think Barbara. <laughs> Barbara, Dick, that old bitch. Dick Chump checks her basically, and is like they're like talking and. I forget how it spuns, but he eventually just says, hey, you're a, you're a triple bagger. Wow. Which Peter then explained, because someone didn't know, that to the entire group. Dude, Peter's that so funny. A, well, oh, you don't know what a triple bagger is? Okay, well, a bagger is a girl who's so ugly you need one <laughs> bag to fuck her. And then a triple bagger <laughs> is a girl who's so ugly you need three. Peter, your stepdad is doing this. He's doing this. He's, this is being explained to the room. Yeah. To like a room of people. Who oh, <laughs> Peter is like he's like an eye roll farm. Yeah, Peter loves what I can tell from meeting him, and he's lovely, by the way. He loves he loves being a uh, he loves attention, but not in like a a disruptive or destructive way. He just loves being the guy that people are listening to right now. He's never moan a silence. Peter's he's like got, a podcast. He had some he platitudes, stands. some platitudes while we were there. Some pl dude, oh my god, yeah. he was. Peter dropped the most softball like. Hey, you know, you don't want you don't, don't know what you got till it's gone, and that's Nietzsche. And we we're like, he's telling it to us like we don't like never heard of some idiom. That like was that. The, that was the funny part. And I, I was think. just it was like, the, oh yeah, you, I don't, you're uh, right. I was sitting in the kitchen. Bars. I was like, I don't even necessarily disagree with you. I think you're just saying it with such an air of introduction, as if yeah, as if it's the first time I've ever heard it. Yeah, which was very funny. He, he also <laughs> knew a lot of unrelated. He also knew a lot of dog breeds, which was interesting. Why is that, Ludwig? Because he bought a dog. Yeah, I think he's just really <laughs> did a lot of research or something. I don't know. He doesn't fuck dogs. That's true. No, implying. that's not what it I felt like you're implying. You, it. you, I want you to. You made it. the jump. No, he, you no, made the no, jump. No, no, it was he did it correctly because I'm implying it. You're gaslighting. I'm implying it. Answer the question. No. <laughs> you know what he does do? I was sitting. I was wrapping presents. Like, hey, fuck cats. <laughs> I'm silently wrapping presents with the AirPods in, and he's in the room next to me. Watching something on his computer, full volume, no headphones, <laughs> and it is, it's like, I can hear it, and it's the song from Step Brothers, where they, she's got a smile that it seems to me. Sweet Child of Mine. Yes. It's not from Step Sir, Brothers. Sir, that version, though. Specifically, oh, that exact not the scene. studio the version. Step Brothers and version. <laughs> it ends, and then he's like, it's a clip from Wedding <laughs> Crashers with Will Ferrell, and it's like, what is, is he watching? And I find out he was watching a montage of funniest moments yeah. in modern comedy. Yeah, he was watching funny moments. Watch he's, Mojo's and funniest. He's, lo scenes. he's losing it. They're, like they're like a, it's, it's <laughs> Will Ferrell going, Ma, get the meatloaf, and he's going, ah. <laughs> dude. And he drops that line like four times. Every time Will Ferrell says meatloaf, he laughs. That's fire. Did he did he bring that with him to the gathering after? Did he start saying the lines like no, this will no. get him? That's that's huge. That when somebody bad. comes back and tries to re-deliver the lines, but, but without seeing the movie, mm -hmm. they're just like only oh, the yeah. scene. Just only the scene. I saw the Watch Mojo. They're gonna love this one. Yeah. So yeah. that's that's that, Peter, man. That reminds me of uh, when I, I I listen to music when I shower, and I usually just I just pop my entire library of music. A lot on, of Imagine Dragons. On, I, our walls are thin. I can always hear his Imagine Dragons. Well, we used to roast you because you used to listen to the Interstellar soundtrack. <laughs> yeah, while that showering. I did. Or, or Enya while working out. I don't, yeah. I don't think I have anything from Imagine Dragons downloaded. Well, I do have a lot of you Interstellar You probably songs. have the Riot intro now. No. For Arcane? Nope. Through really? the wall, it all sounds like Imagine, Imagine Dragons-esque. Dragon. Yeah. Enough. So, so w this was in Italy, and uh, in the shower... A uh, sweet child of mine comes on, and <laughs> oh. and I'm showering, and in my head I'm like, okay, if they hear this, they're definitely gonna make fun of me for it after, and I'm like debating whether or not to get out of the shower to change the fucking mm. song, and I'm like, nah, no way, because I'm like all the way down the hall. If Nick heard that, it's and then over. and then as soon as I come back, I'm like naked. I just have a towel on, right? And they all looked at me and were like, were you playing Sweet Child of Mine? <laughs> so funny. And, and now I'm picturing, imagine that, but I was playing the Step Brothers version. Dude. Like, well, or just watching like <laughs> top 10 funniest clips. It's yeah. you're listening to it in the shower. But if you're playing the Step Brothers version in the shower and then also like singing along, like it's music and not like a little. That would be, that's <gasps> you know what like that you would do. What I'm going to do? I could sing you don't right listen now. to music. So you would have to listen to like some weird version <laughs> of it. 
So it's like, yeah, this is uh, in old school when it's the like the four lines of Total Eclipse of the oh, Heart. Oh, this is the original. <laughs> yeah, and you like think it, and then you, and then here's what Ludwig does: you tell him that that's not the original, yeah, no and he just is like, he either calls you stupid or cringe or a boomer for knowing that. Nerd. Next shower, I'm grabbing a Bluetooth speaker. I'm max voluming Watch Mojo's top ten best movies of all time, and I'm <laughs> pressing it against your wall in the shower. I and mean, then I'll do that for every shower. Well, then I'll just like, we'll both be just be enjoying great list. <laughs> at that point. Slime in the shower, just listening to Traverse Town. Yeah, well, I, He's been fiending Kingdom Hearts. He, he, oh, we haven't addressed anything yet, by the way. Nick looks weird. Yeah, let's address it. That's crazy. in the room. Nick is uh got an upgrade in looks, got a downgrade in health. He has COVID. That's right. Yeah. Uh, you might have seen if you follow him on Twitter, which 20 of you probably saw that. Congrats. <laughs> Uh, and <laughs> oh, it's all twenty. When you have an M next to your name, it's all just twenty. Yeah, piece of shit. You have double him. Yeah, I rule. You also have like none though. None what? Compared to the listeners of this podcast, like millions of people have listened to our podcast. Separate humans have listened to it. Cap. Maybe eighty k people watch you or follow you. Cap eighty nine. You can't just say cap. Cap. I think it's <laughs> I think it's ninety plus five k blocked. There you go. And that counts. <laughs> you count your block. Oh, wait, here it is. Oh, 82. Ooh. 82 plus 5K Ooh. blocked. So if you count that, that's like me when I take off my pants to weigh myself and add. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 190. That's but measuring it, from the base. Yeah. I, from the balls. <laughs> I haven't shit in a while, so. 5K, 5K blocked counts. So yeah, Nick has COVID. He got it because he went to Smash World Tour, which is, I probably would have got it too if I went to the 100%. tournament. What, this You're, is what I was thinking about. We all bailed. It, well, you weren't going to go, but go. me and you bailed. Yeah, yeah, your I'm, foot saved you. It was like a sign from God. It saved me from getting COVID. Well, yeah. Like, I mean, I'm a young guy. But also, Nick, Nick's, he, he's, he's talking. It's kind of interesting. Like, I don't think I know a single person this close to me or, or even remotely this close that has gotten it. Yeah, And uh, so we're just like talking to him. He's like, how do you feel? He's like, yeah, I feel good. My sense of smell like went out like a couple days ago. Uh, and then he's like, fuck. he's been in his room like a good boy, just dungeon master. Like that I is to bring genuinely my biggest he's an fear. I, he's an ideal room if you think about it. Like that, his, his room, room his room is a fucking studio he has, apartment. He has, well, he has the, uh, the master scenario. of the house. Yeah, Ludwig the, has the second master because he's a cuck. <laughs> no, because they didn't want that one. <laughs> it was too big. Oh, he's too big. Oh, it was too big for but, you. But my big old what friend is, over there, he's he's got what you a, need. A new word instead of master. I always forget what it is. Uh, what content? Top? For, oh, no, for, for rooms. rooms. Yeah. Because they're top, top room, they're, they're the top room where you get top Be best. The room for top. Uh, anyway, yeah, he has COVID and he had it during our podcast, and it was kind of terrifying. Did he? Yeah, because he got it from Smash World Tour, so he had it in his. Yes, he had to have had it in Smash World Tour. Right? So or, on that podcast, it was there. Maybe the symptoms weren't there, but he had yeah, it. Yeah, if you system. actually hit the the gear icon right now on the VOD, uh, and you can go back and see COVID vision, and it's this like it's like the green guy from Casper the Ghost. <laughs> And he just misses us the whole time, which is good. It was uh, kind of crazy that none of us got it. Yeah, yeah, I was surprised. He he must just not have been in a stage where he could like pass it to somebody yet. You slept in the same bed. Yeah, that's what as I'm saying. Him. Let me correct but it. I'm, I've, I'm so negative. He could I'm pass run it. And test. He just has a weak baby immune system compared to our strong Chad ones. Here, can I get tell you guys a real concern of mine? Nick before COVID, and he like you know everyone just didn't go out a lot. He got sick a lot. All the time. Mm -hmm. And I started yeah. making fun of him for it. Yeah. But now I'm like, what if it means that he has a weak system? He does. What if Nick's days are numbered and I have to deal with that? And how this, how does this affect me? Okay. This to be clear, like I don't think we it's got like the other a birth week. thing. I think it's a diet thing. Do you think so? <laughs> no you, you think way. <laughs> no I, way Nick I will is a say, beacon uh, of health. I will say he is going to hit a, an age and it's all just going to balloon right out of his you tummy. Can't, you can't. You can't. You can't, <laughs> you can't, 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 can't run. Can't you can't run that. in and out forever. <laughs> uh, he look. He's he's on the up and up. Look, rock climbing is going to change him. Three by three. Plane. I, I can change him. No, no. I can change him. No, because he's going to take you to Schmidt and Schmout, and he's going to get his three by three plane, and he's going to eat it, <laughs> and then he's going to be like, "I'm not going to drink water for seven days," and then he's going to die. <laughs> Every time he gets the three by three plane, I'm just like. Come on, man. Just one vegetable. It is funny how he diets is like an all or nothing on like a single thing. Like he'll he cut soda. Like that was one thing. Like he'll never drink soda again. He doesn't need any fast food except In and Out. Like he'll just do things like that. And his recent thing is like I don't I, I'm not gonna have any sugar. Yeah, he's he's doing what I tried to do. 
Well, yeah. I, I did it for a little bit, you, but it's you, hard. I, I would say you kept it up for quite a while. I've reduced my sugar intake a lot, except goddamn your goddamned fucking girlfriend. God damn her. I am also a, shit. a wily... She leaves candy down there all the time. Yeah. I came down every day you guys were gone, and it was just me and Nick in the house, and he's like effectively gone, and I just ate those little chocolate snowmen. Indies. And I felt like shit. Slime is so... Uh, God damn it. it. You can see him struggle with the goal of like this health stuff from what he's learned online, and then like his monkey brain going like, ooh, yummy food. Yeah. And I'm literally a gibbon, and I'm just slapping the table. And he stands over food sometimes like... And it's like a coin flip whether he actually eats it or walks away. It's bad. But I think that's what it is for a lot of people, though. Well, I think that actually is it. I just give in whenever I want, but it's like I give in at certain points. You give that's in whenever not... you want? What yeah. the fuck does you that mean? You just said two <laughs> contrarian <laughs> things. Like, I satiate my desire for sweets the moment they come up, usually. So you have no willpower. That's what right, you're saying. That's what you're telling us. Yeah, but it's also like I don't have such an appetite because I allow myself to eat it on a regular basis that it's not like I fi fi fill my face with sweets is what I wanted to say. I'm c this okay. is not impressive. <laughs> Thank it's you. not meant to be. This is not oh impressive. My God. Thank you. It I'm was not, I'm, what I'm saying is it's not. I don't oh, so <laughs> you, you're just describing <laughs> that you have no mental war over yeah, eating sometimes sweets. Sometimes when I'm hungry, I eat food. I this just is just you. You're like, just you're I'm just telling podcast. us how you feel about everything else. I just eat everything, <laughs> which I is wanted. which is. It'll be fine. That's be crazy. Fine, it'll be fine. You're such a fucking son of a. Oh, bitch. that chocolate! It'd be pog right now. Yeah, no inter. Hey, no, no but you can't have whatsoever. that chocolate. Oh, that's not pog. And that's it. <laughs> oh, that's not pog. <laughs> Insane. So, b speaking of your of, I guess our trip. Uh -huh. There's a couple things, a couple crazy things that happened both during and post the trip. Number mm. one. Ludwig got ham boned, just shit face Dude. drunk. So drunk he didn't remember what he did or said, which last time that happened is like probably a long time ago. And also, back in the day when that would happen a lot, Ludwig would be very mean. This is like three years yeah, ago. Yeah, this is a long time ago. Well, maybe more. Probably more in 2017. Yeah, yeah. I get, I've i never seen you blackout. This is yeah. four years ago. So wow. Ludwig, we call him Dark Ludwig because he would just, you, you'd like, you, I don't know, you'd say something about his mashing skills well, okay, or Mario Party. No, let me, it was not. You would. You're using the universal you as if, like, you know, any fucking soul comes through. This was specifically Miles and the Australians. Yes. Who and, have, and Ben Tolson. Who have, yeah. Who, and Ben Tolson, who have uh, pervasive shit talk abilities. That's true. So it, this, Ludwig is not like a, a monster in this situation because they did it a lot to fuck they with They would him. push me and I would get pushed and I would snap. It was like a psycho. Dude, it was and, uh, crazy. For people thinking at home, like, I'd never crack. That would never get to me. You don't know what it's like to be on the <laughs> other end of this for the first the time. The Aussies are you, you, so insane. hard. Oh, dude, like, the commentary is just insane. They'll like commentate everything you do, just roasting the shit out of you, and you try to spit it back at them, and they're like, "Oh, for sure." Like, oh, like you mad? Like, is that is yeah, that a problem? Yeah, dude, it's <laughs> fucking tough. So, but then I it would get under my skin. I'd get irate. I'd get drunk. I'd say some shit I shouldn't say. Yeah, just some like, mean just, shit. Basically, it's like. If you're mad at someone and then you just like dig up their deepest insecurity and then you wield it against them. Yeah. It's like Miles going like, oh, you're just absolute dog. <laughs> like you'll never be anything. And then, it, I, and then I'll be like, you will never, ever achieve any success in life. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and be like, and you're fat. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> and then the next day, Miles would be like, man, you said some fuck things. <laughs> and I was like, oh, come on. And that's what it was like for a while. And I, and I felt bad yeah. and I didn't get as drunk. There was a period where I was like, okay, I'm not drinking. And I, I didn't get that drunk for like literally the four years yeah and th this was like so cutie sends a, a video which you'll see in the beginning of this uh to our group it's chat. our intro can you it's can you intro. give the context of like what was happening that day like why so, why'd you get so intoxicated? we go to the pats bills game uh we actually drive because we were going to go to foxborough which is not near boston yeah the new england patriots play like an hour outside and we're gonna Fucking go tom brady <laughs> that me was so bad. Me and Werner. <laughs> me and Win. Werner. Werner. That was good. I kept thinking about Werner, Werner. dude. So, <laughs> what? Did you watch Quincy Boys? Did you watch that? Did you no. watch? You watch my video? I watched Quincy Boys. I clicked wow. on it. I clicked on it to watch it, and I didn't watch it. Why? I, I just like I think I forgot. I had like a list of things I was gonna watch, and then since I clicked it, it doesn't pop up again. I think you'd like it. I think I probably would. 
We're, we're just a fucking couple of boys. You know who's Quincy. watching it right now? Probably Tommy in it on to repeat. The fucking lobster bath. <laughs> Tom- yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Tommy in it knows who I am, and that's fucked up. Why do you also, think that's crazy? Also, Dream. I I was like the reason Dream tweeted out he wasn't bald, and I'm like, yeah. damn, I this well, is too scary. Me. Well, yeah, but, but I I was like there, yeah. and I said it means he was watching. Yeah. Right. So D- Dream, who is someone who could uh, probably much like Metal Gear, create an entire island nation of child soldiers. <laughs> knows who I am, uh-huh. and that's scary. That's scary. <laughs> he could do that. He could do. I that. know. He could. He could make a platform in the ocean and uh-huh. call it Militia Son. Why is it French? Can you Be- one day? Ocean, Metal Gear. Okay. Right. <laughs> Next year, ten ten years after Coney twenty twelve, the Minecraft streamers are going to rally uh-huh. and move and and move into the bush to form a, a form yeah. a child yeah. January army. Six of the libs. They're going to go to Zanzibar land <laughs> and, and create outer heaven. It's going to be real. Yeah. So create so, a new society. Anyway, Tommy in it to be clear though was an avid fan of me at the onset of his career. Like I would say top 2 inspiration. Hold uh, on, dinosaur. Who asked? You are literally saying that it's weird that he watched I, can you. Can you let him talk? Thoughts? Uh yeah, more like um AK Rowling. <laughs> that's funny this guy's funny <laughs> and so he, a lot of the, my biggest videos then were you laugh you loses right that was it okay so I've always been in the mix I think you've been like he's known about you since before he was me famous. you and that monkey he, not, but he still watches which is the cool thing yeah that is cool uh, anyway we, this is a big aside yeah from, yeah yeah I went to the Pats Bills game and go I go Pats I got drunk while watching him <laughs> as you do while with watching you, a with game with like your high school friends yeah right? like we're yeah, all there give me a fucking lager we have some good seats. Uh, actually, got into a little altercation with the Boston fan. Yeah. No way. Yeah. Some fucking pussy. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, I'll well, let I guess you. I'll let you play pussy. the role. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, well, I'll give you the context. I bought 15 seats because this was like a gift for me for Christmas to a lot of friends and family from New Hampshire. So I just I got everything. It was like it was like 20k total for all the tickets, but I kind of got them late. So it was like six seats here, six seats here, three seats here, all somewhat separate. And, uh, and I picked like, like who sat where this is all to say that I ended up sitting next to my mother, but it was kind of far down and she has a walking disability. Like she can walk, but if she walks for a while, like it just freezes up. She can't do it. Uh And I was like, Oh dude, we basically have these handicap accessible seats. We should switch you. And so I was like standing next to her. I was like, Hey, let's, let's switch you up here. I found better seats. And while I'm doing that, there's this guy, Boston guy who's upset because I'm blocking his view. Hey, go. Hey. Sit the fuck down. Hey, uh, sorry, dude. My mom's like literally handicapped. I'm just hey, I don't care about your fucking gay mother. Sit the fuck down. Well, hey, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. You're missing. Don't like- tell me I'll be fine. Okay, well, you're I just won't a be dick. fine. No, tell me I'll be fine again. Now enter cutie. You're being a dick. To you? No, no, to him. Oh. Excuse me, bitch. <laughs> Actually, no way. I'm gonna pause. <laughs> no way. Almost one to one of the exact interaction. Really? Holy yes. Shit. I am a Quincy boy. And he's next to his kids. His kids are like, his like kids so, are there. They're so embarrassed. Jesus oh. Christ. And what he, did he look like? He just looked like I don't know. Did he look like Anthony? Pre-diabetic, <laughs> in Irish. How do you look Irish? That's so. Is that easy. just a way to say he's white? No, you it's a way it. to say he's native Boston. No one. That's not helping. Hey, vote on your phones now if Ludwig makes sense. He's got like white hair. You old know, guy? Old guy. He's like probably 45, 55. Okay. I'm just saying, does it, what is it? What p- kind of person does he look like? A celebrity? Is there, can you help me out here? He looks like uh, if George Clooney fell in a vat of acid. <laughs> and became the fucking Joker. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and that was the interaction, which was crazy. And the seats end up working out. We have great seats. Phenomenal. I drink a shit ton. We decide to go to Boston, and I convince my friends to come with me, even though they live in New Hampshire. Uh, and so Cutie drives. She was sober the whole day. Drives us there. We get to Boston, and we decide to go to this Japanese restaurant because, you know, I need pound desk. Yeah, that is funny how you're like, hey, guys, is there a spot around here? I'm trying to, you know. It was cutie. She was little, feeding ramen. A little taste of Japan. Wait, how do you say I'm hungry in Japanese? Uh, phew, that's not me. How do you say delicious? Uh, hung, hungry desk. Uishi. <laughs> Remember? <laughs> uishi. <laughs> uishi. So uh, you're trying to look for some uishi treats. I believe punk. it's tomodachi. Tomodachi-san. Everyone gets these like <laughs> coconut bowls of like alcohol that are like huge. And I just start sipping from everyone's. Why? I'm just going round table because I'm already a bit drunk. Yeah. And so alcohol stops tasting like alcohol and liquid just wants to enter me. And I, then I start getting 
belligerent. The, the, the sun devil came out. Uh-huh. The true ASU partier. And I promise I'm not exaggerating when I say I cannot remember any of the specificities of what happened in between then and getting to the hotel. But I arrived there. I stripped down to my boxers because it was more comfy <laughs> than what I was wearing. <laughs> my friends somehow disappeared. They Ubered home. It was just me and Cutie. You didn't go back to New Hampshire? No, no, because we were flying out that morning. That's oh, why we went to Boston. Yeah, yeah. It was convenient to fly out in the morning from Boston because there's no New Hampshire airports. So you said goodbye to your mom fucking hammered. I said goodbye to her at the Pats game, so I was still like somewhat oh, Okay, fine. so y yeah, you remember that. Yeah. And then Aiden calls <laughs> me. Mom, I fucking love... Why are you Boston now? I don't Maybe that's what happens. Maybe when we drink alcohol, we just become from Boston. Bostonian. I think you just like doing accents. You are me, but at Pats House 3. Yeah. Uh, Aiden calls me, which I think is what sparked me not only calling him, but talking to you. Okay. Well, also, it was Cutie sent that message in the group chat, which is a video, which you guys saw. And she said, I was streaming at the time. And she's like, watch this on stream. And I'm like, oh, okay. And that was really funny. And then you called me, I assume, like right Probably because Cutie was like, he's was watching. Like, he's he's watching. just yeah. hanging off the bed, ass out. Dude, it, Dude hey, babe. babe. And you're just like, <laughs> like a dog. It's hey, actually very cute. The hey, David, whole night I threw up for some reason. Cutie was like, do you throw up? I was like, no. <laughs> I lied. No reason to lie. I told her the next day. I get to the bed and I'm sleeping on my back. She's like, sleep on your side. I'm like, no. <laughs> like I keep <laughs> pushing her over. Roll the dice, baby. Yeah, I was I was a bit of a menace. She was complaining on stream that on the car ride to Boston, I was burping in her face. <laughs> and then she was like, stop. So I stopped and then I started farting in the car. You do sound like a dude from Quincy and she was like, that they stop. just picked up. And I was like, well, farting's funnier than burping. <laughs> That's funny. She had to like punish me like a cat with like a spray bottle. And so and you so you called you no, know, Eamon called you. Uh-huh. First. How'd because that go? I needed answers. Because at this point, Ludwig and Cutie's new merch, which has been teased in various places, is supposed to go out on December twenty eighth. Day I, after. But I do not have confirmation Today. from Ludwig about moving it back yet. Or if he uh, had gotten photos because I was under the impression that they weren't going to do photos in New Hampshire anymore, right? And then that day I found out they did it anyway. Or they I got was surprised. half of them done. I was surprised I, that he got that and, done. And, and I need answers. That's why I'm calling Ludwig. I'm hanging out with my family, you, but this is like the last night to you like need get info mm. from this this hell of a man right here. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. he uh, he calls me back and he's I immediately. It's so obvious he's drunk because every word word is being uh, slurred. Yeah, like it's so it's and, it's borderline incoherent. What's up? And uh, and I'm like, hey, what's up, bud? Like, <laughs> it's good. Hey, uh, so what do you think? I heard you got the photos. Like, what do you think about moving it back? He's like, no, we'll just we'll just get it done. We'll just get it done, you know. And I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? It's like, <laughs> give me the date. We need to. Are we doing it on the 28th or not? He's like, yeah, we'll. We, no, we'll move it back. And I'm like, okay, so does that mean the 29th, like I asked you, or does that mean next week? And we just keep going back and forth, right? And at the end of the call, at the end of the call, he's just kind of muttering to Cutie. He's like, I hate him, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> dude, that's so funny. That's probably where the video came from, because you probably filmed me after, and right after, was just like yeah. annoying me with questions yeah, while yeah. I'm drunk. Oh, and, you hate and questions and that need I, to be answered. I, while I'm drunk especially. Or, I'm being and, patient, by the way, because after I got, after I got, you know, lit up for being mean on the phone last week i thought about it and i was like <laughs> you know for some reason getting phone calls often immediately stresses me out because i feel like i'm on the back foot for some reason i don't know i have to think about why that's the case Parents but i'm abusive. like i will be nicer to ludwig <laughs> on the phone and um thank you thank you for being nice so, so i was ludwig. nice the whole i was nice to drunk ludwig the whole time and he's he like, appreciates oh, it. I, I, it's I, funny you were hey, nice you your effort went totally un unreceived yeah right? he, he didn't just, remember he just forgot about I still it hate yeah. in the background this whole time by the way cutie's just like profusely apologizing she's like i can't control him. i'm so sorry <laughs> like because because he just like keeps saying shit i you you said something about oh oh this is this is what you called anthony with later i remember uh I, but this is I, this is where i exit from this right i hang up and i had just left uh like games that were starting with my family because they wanted to play they wanted to play poker that night and my mom from upstairs like yelled like where's aiden because i think she had an idea that i might have like slipped out so i don't have to like play or and she was like uh, not on my people. goddamned watch yeah and she she wants me to get involved and i'm like no no i just had a phone call i was like my boss called me your and, parents get shit faced uh in general no. do they no. no okay 
And uh, and then my mom asked me like, "What is he calling you about on like the on like the evening of Boxing Day or something?" I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> "Why would he call you on the Queen of Canada's <laughs> fourth <laughs> does birthday?" He, does he not know? Does he not know about her birthday? And then, and then I was just like, "I don't know. He's he's wasted. He's absolutely." You wasted. also called me for a business call at one a.m. I did not. I did not. It I called you way earlier. Oh, I called, I called back you at way earlier, and then oh. you called me back. You called at 1 me at 10 p.m. I think Why'd I you? did call you 10 p.m. It was pretty early. Why did Drunk Ludwig call him back? Because I think I didn't get my phone until then. Because my phone wasn't with also, me at dinner. Also, this is capped off, but because before I had called him, I had sent him a text because I was like, I, I was like, I do need answers tonight. I'm sure if he can't pick up the phone, he'll just text me back later when he's available. So I sent him like a couple list of questions. Ludwig, instead of answering my question, just replies with a bunch of family photos from this the day. Is, this is so fucking and funny. It's like it's like ten photos of them at the football game. We'll and, uh, we'll put it in the vod because it looks so funny if you screenshot I'll send it. it to, it to send zipper, zipper right now, yeah. dude. It it is so because it's literally Eamon being like, I need this, and I've been in Eamon's spot a lot. Hey, I need this really, really bad because other people are depending on your answer right now. And Ludwig <laughs> just responds with like. Seven pictures of him and his family and no, his friends. No text. No, only no photos. At all too. It's, and, and, then he, and he just says, cute. I just said cute. Eamon replies cute. I meant Okay, it. another reason why I got shit-faced, by the way, is this was also the finale of my fantasy football team leagues. I had two leagues I was in. Did you have any players in the game? I had. I was in the finals for one against Clint Stevens. I had a player in a lot of the games on Sunday, and I was up the whole time. I ended up losing. This is for a $5,000 game. Five thousand buy in or five thousand. It was a thousand dollar buy in. The pot was like it was seventy five hundred first, twenty five hundred second. Nice. And third gets nothing. Fuck yeah. So I, that's an aim. I, I was winning. That's I lost. <laughs> I got rolled in like the eleventh hour. Okay. It bummed. Okay. I also lost my other league where I was first overall in like semis. You also lost your wallet. Bummed. <laughs> also lost my wallet. He wait, he no, did. actually, on the trip. No. no. Yeah. He, oh wait. He, let me explain this. Okay. So next morning after the drunk. I, I, I have to drive the car to the rental place and drop it off. Probably shouldn't have driven, I'll be honest. I, the, the effects next morning. of alcohol last a, a long time, but I was fine. I got there, and uh, I go to put this car at this rental place. I park it in, and I knew I had my wallet here because I remember leaving it in there. And I, I'm like looking through, and I can't really find it. And all of a sudden, this woman comes. She's speaking Spanish with three people behind her. And she's like explaining stuff, I guess, to them. They're like new. And then I'm like, okay. And I, they're like all around the car. But I'm like, whatever. I think they're looking at the license plate. I, uh, I have a bunch of shit in there because it was a lived in car. I use it for seven, eight days. I'm collecting my shit. They start getting in the passenger seat. And I'm like, I'm like, uh, uh, okay. And I, I like go motion over to like be like, hey, can I? And they, she just doesn't look at me. And I like have to reach around. And they're just doing their thing. Eventually, I, I couldn't find my wallet. I just give up. I walk away from the situation because I'm stressed out. You got bullied out of the car. They're not fucking looking at me. They're, I am not a human to them. And I just collect my bags and I walk out. I'm like, I lost the wallet. Come to find out because I have a tile because Slime put it in. It's in the fucking car. That's right. I, I, I would have found he's it. Like, he's like, hey, we're... He, <laughs> Hey, how do I find my wallet? I texted you. I was like, how do I find my wallet? Wait, so are you able to get it back? <laughs> yeah, I'll call them and I'll, I'll get it delivered. But it's fucking crazy that they just like shushed me out basically through ign not, ignoring me. Not famous enough. Cold shouldered me it out. It is so nice that to have, bring up the app and being... I, I, I came down like I was fucking like... What, what, Sherlock? What, what's like a, a, a defense guy, Colin Powell? <laughs> and I'm like, Mr. President, <laughs> your wallet is in the Secretary Boston Logan Airport Get, rental sit center. Down, sit down in the briefing room. Do you want us to scramble the units? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're not going to like this. Uh, I, and that's a, that's actually full circle. I remember that, like, you losing your shit, and then I put the tile in there, and it finally worked. So, yeah. Too bad you got bullied by people, by adults, I as did. an adult. I did get bullied by adults out of the car. It, there's only one it's way nice. to bully Ludwig. It's, it's nice just, to just pretend he doesn't exist, but not to insult him at a at a football game. Update: Not a fan of BMW. That's what I drove. BMW i3. Didn't love it. We made fun of you for that, and that was fun. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I like. I think the point of a rental is you rent a car you don't have that people like. I That's I rented nice. one with all wheel drive because I was like, if we hit snow, I'm gonna save the day. Mm. When in doubt, throttle out. Yeah. So in you did the, save the day is, by driving. He's so home. much more practical. Right. He is a incredibly practical man to a fault. Also, sometimes not practical, but like he was creaming his <laughs> jeans the other day. I, I was looking. We got a bunch of packages. Some were dressed as slime, and I didn't know what they were. They were just like plastic. 
And oh, then dude. Slime walks over. He's like, oh, dude, you see, I got shelving units. Dude, I was so hyped. I actually, so they're called nested bins, all right? And you put the bins in the in the thing, and they go pretty deep, and you can, like, label them, and you can, like, we can arrange all our gear, yeah. Ludwig. And, and it came with a catalog of bin shit. So, like, I can get more bins. Yeah. That's so sick. Yeah. Like, it is. Wow. Not a shortage. That's good. This is like when you I showed get, you the fucking QuickBook. He gets so pumped about shelves and bins and yeah. and all that. He I do fucking get pumped hate about that. So <laughs> hey, I was into the QuickBooks. Let me get high and yeah. tell me about bins. For yeah, an hour. I, you need to eat a gummy before you can appreciate fine organization. Yeah. <laughs> that, to be that fair, I'm into it. I wasn't psyched before you order those shelves in our in our office for all the. We put all the merch samples we get on these shelves now. They're fucking great. I love. Them. So I should get behind this. But I do think it's funny that I don't know. It, I, you, you pick like such like random like small things to be like very excited about. It's because, because of their utility. I feel well, like, it's but. more like I have to live a life where I am constantly. I check in on Ludwig and I'm like, "Is that thing gonna be a pain in my ass?" And he's like, "Yep." And then I'm like, "Okay." So when I finally am granted some sort of control or agency over this chaos, I disproportionately am like. This is the best day of Pumped my about life. It. Right? it solves everything. I am, I am basically an abused worker <laughs> in an abusive workplace. Hey, welcome. Put her there. Maybe don't shake his hand. Oh, on by that. the way, I will bring this That's up. That's an exhibit in this Dude, case. The, I, was, I was actually mad at you. I want you to know this. Why? Ludwig. Oh, are you talking about the tickets? Ludwig bought Let tickets. me explain this. <gasps> okay, because I think... Oh, right. This is, this is crazy. How did you fuck this up, This dude? is the craziest thing I've ever done, and I will have to reevaluate some processes I take. So I hope, like, like Kalen says, wake up to your life. Let me give some context. <laughs> I, I got these tickets for the Pats game, but I also got some more tickets specifically for Cutie's family. Her father's a big Cowboys fan uh, for, for some reason. I don't know. Maybe he's from there. And so I was like, okay, I'll surprise them with Cowboys tickets and I'll take the initiative and I'll find these tickets. So I email and I'm like, hey, uh, I want sweet tickets. They get back to me pretty promptly. And I'm like, this is the game I want. And I do this thing. I have a bad habit. When you uh, don't, the, don't, don't, no. I want, I want to hear shame in your voice. I have a bad habit of replying to emails really early. So I, I wanted to go to the January 2nd game. It's the Cardinals versus the Cowboys. I accidentally replied and signed a DocuSign to go Wait, to. It was the wrong date even? A wrong game. I didn't even know this. Yes. Oh, Th this is, this is. In in fact, less crazy than what he what else he missed in this docu sign so that you sign your fucking name on. I I signed my name to the wrong tickets, and these tickets when I read the email was fifty four hundred dollars. And I remember telling you about this because I also bought new tickets for the real game that cost like another you know whatever seven eight thousand. I was spending like you know tens of thousand dollars on these tickets, and then I'm talking to Slime about how I want to do this charity giveaway, and I'm like, how much money do I have in the account? And oh, then, yeah, Amazon, yeah, yeah. And he's like, okay, yeah, let me look. And I open up a credit card statement because we have a card with, like, a really high limit, and I'm looking through the statement, and I'm like, our limit, we've spent, like, 70 grand. And I was like, what? what? And I start clicking through. I'm like, this can't be right. Dude, like, what? Because it's his card, right? It's, like, it's the Ludwig card, and he does whatever, and then I, I pick up the pieces later. So I don't look at the statement until the final, like, to the end of the month. So I, I look at the credit card statement, and it is... There's a purchase for fifty four thousand dollars. Fifty four grand, dude. What, dude? He read a docu sign with a date to buy tickets from this company that sells premium tickets for both the wrong date and for what he thought he didn't see all the zeros at the end. He skimmed it and didn't see that it was ten times the amount, and so he bought tickets that he could not go to. You fifty four grand. You thought that it was fifty four hundred. Uh huh. The tickets I told you about were fifty four grand, but he didn't know that until Dude, I. Dude, even when you were, out. even when you were sad about this, when you talked to me about it, uh -huh. it was only when it was fifty four hundred. I talked to him after I found Holy out that it was the wrong shit. tickets for the wrong game, and I was like, "I'm out fifty four hundred, and I was out fifty four grand." Dude, how me. do you do that? I don't know. I you like, literally it, you misclicked. You misclicked fifty grand. Like I, didn't I, like I was okay. I was mad. I was mad for a couple reasons. I was like, one, this this is insane. Like you just can't make mistakes like this. This is an entire like human being salary that because we're hiring people like that could conceivably be. That's right? almost my salary. <laughs> Number two, 
I told you not to buy this shit on the company card. I told you to do that, not to do that. And you just did it anyway. So it's like, what, what's going on? Why, why? I'm getting mad again. I'll come back down. But it's like, why? It's like, why don't you just yeah. fucking... He did say... I was like, also there for when he told you that. Like, just I don't, do I, remember that. But you, did it, but, but you just did it anyway. And it's like, you could just not do it. Like, But you I, could just like be nice to me. It's not nice to me because you, you just ignored I me. I might have bought it before I asked you. No, that's not true. Because I've said this before might about have. tickets. I've literally said this about tickets before. The new new, like, new California law about different. entertainment and expenses, like, I believe. Because Texas He cited be it a few times. Texas laws might change. It was Texas it made law, me, it, California just, company though. And you, so. you, you knew I was mad because I, I didn't freak out. I was like, okay, well, this is a big enough problem to where the first thing we gotta do is fucking solve it. So we like start working. I try to find them. I can't find them. There's like seat geek shit like it that. It actually blew because this is Christmas Eve when I find out that this is the problem. And the game's in like two days. Yeah, the game's in two days and I and I go to the site and I managed to pull them up but it won't let me sell them. Yeah. And I sent an email to customer support and I'm like, that they're not getting back to me. <laughs> it's Christmas it's Eve. It's literally Christmas yeah. Eve right Their now. Their numbers are you missed off. The window. It's only email. I mean, I missed the window. Wait, so why, how... So it turns did into Cutie's a beautiful did Christmas Cutie, miracle. No, did Cutie's family didn't. still go? No, what happened? You gave them away. What happened is I gave away a, a a bunch of money Christmas Day, and I wanted to do this because I saw uh, Pokey do this and a couple other people do this, where they just kind of give um, like Amazon wish lists. They just buy what's on it for some people uh, who like follow them. You also did that. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, that. and I wanted to do that. And so I decided to do that. And we were talking about that with Slime earlier. I was like, Ooh, oh, you know, he's in the doghouse because he made a spreadsheet. Ooh, I was he, like, he never makes a spreadsheet. I was like, he did it for I me. want to, uh, I want to give away like ten to fifteen k. That was my goal. That I, I thought it'd be, you know, nice Christmas cheer, for yada Amazon yada stuff. Away like seven. Well, <laughs> I end up giving away every single ticket to the suite. It was insane. I put oh. a tweet out that was like, hey, if you have an eleven dollars, I have some tickets. And a bunch of people, like you know, dozens and dozens of people came forward. And so it ended up being a suite of just Lud Buds at the game. And I got a few pictures and it was very cute. That's kind of tight. Yeah, That's I'm actually so kind of tight. It was actually really heartwarming, even though it was by pure circumstance that it, it no, was no, no. that No, no, no. Not way. circumstance. Call it it's what it is, Ludwig. By pure failure on Incompetence. my part. Incompetence. Incompetence is a harsh word. It, you guys. It's accurate. <laughs> it's fun to look back on now. Maybe even not oh, that fun. But oh I, I swear to God, I was going to sit him down and have a talk. And be like, you can't do shit like this. I can't handle it. We I, ethically, I cannot handle Christmas this. Christmas cheer. We hired Nick Yingling, <laughs> and I was like, damn, that's one Nick Yingling down the fucking drain. Well, we spread Christmas he's just, cheer. He's just on, on the bed in the hotel room on his phone looking at that thread. He's like, God bless us. God bless us, everyone. God bless, God us, bless all. us all. <laughs> it was, well, it was cool. Everyone reached out, and they're like, hey, my dad is like the biggest fan. It was like, just because everyone's with their family, too. So did Cutie's family take... This the, is the, We are going to a different game. We are oh, still going. It's a different oh, game. Yeah. Totally He's separate. But still, fucking left you, and right. you are still going to the game yes. together on January 2nd. Yes. Okay. Separately. Did that you buy those on the fucking... No. I was there. Ludwig, it's not time I was to there. lie. It's just tell the truth, and I won't be mad. I'm your dad now. Can I... Just There's tell the truth that I won't Those tickets are so much. I don't know. You really don't? I really don't what? know. Why would it be a different payment method? Because I might have used my Apple card. I don't think it passed my threshold for that. We'll see. And that's this the is, only other card we're I would have Because this is when he told me. This is before we left. We're sitting on the stairs, and he's sad. He's like, man, man, Let's find I, out. I spent $5,400 on, on the wrong game. That's that crazy. Sucks. And now the tickets for January 2nd are like 3x that. And I was like, yeah. that's crazy that you are spending that much money to go to the correct football game. <laughs> and now it is significantly worse. Yeah. I, I, I think it was, was on shit. the Apple card because it does have a StubHub payment. Bug! So I think I think it was. <sighs> that's yours. All right. This is this is the this is the anxiety that Woo! Anthony lives through about every other week. Anyway, <laughs> you should see the photos. Maybe you'd make it up. I no, I did. I did see people respond, and it was really cool. Also, by the way, that fucking Amazon wish list thing, our, our account got locked again. Oh, we, dude. And hopefully by this time it's unlocked. But holy shit, it, it, god damn it! I hate this. Stop giving people shit. Give them something like buy it for them already. I don't know. Whatever. Here's it the thing. Is a bit of a pain. I wanted to that. So that all happened. But also, what happened during being at your house is. One thing, one with your mom, 
and one with Peter. All right. I talked about this at dinner mm-hmm. when we went and got food. You have described Peter. I, this is the first time I ever met him. And since I've known you, yeah. you've always said. <laughs> Peter's my stepfather. He's Peter, Jamaican. Peter's my, <laughs> Peter's my stepdad. He's black. And it's like, oh. And then you would always elaborate a little further. He's Jamaican. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and so ever since he said this, and I've heard Ludwig say this like a lot, right? Uh, and I've always thought that that added part at the end meant that Peter was like like a dude with a Jamaican accent, <laughs> like from Jamaica. Yeah. <laughs> and, he, and I meet him, and he's like, you know, an American guy, right? He's just the most North... Eastern like family man he's you've the ever most met. Dad, yeah. dad ever. Yeah, he's, for sure. All, yeah, he's yeah he's, he's born and raised in the states. He's yeah. the poster dad. It's crazy. And I was just like, and I meet him. He's like, hey, how's it going? Hey, you're slime, huh? You know, and he's being all eccentric. And I'm like, this guy is not Jamaican like the way I thought he was. Yeah, you're looking <laughs> through the garage for a bobsled. <laughs> and I was like, damn, that's crazy. And everyone at dinner just called <laughs> me really bobsled. stupid. But I was like, you know what? I don't think I'm stupid. I think. What do you? I I, I want to ask Ben because Ben met him like yeah. whatever two years ago. I want to know if Ben thought the same thing. <laughs> I just always. I think one, it, it's uh, like a fun fact that he's black. Yeah. <laughs> what? No. Yeah. Because it, it's just not something that one even exists in New Hampshire. <laughs> right. Isn't New Hampshire's d- dude? It's literally like demographics is ninety three percent white. 90, white yeah, I think. Yeah, it's but insane. I think New Hampshire's like or er, uh, the town I'm from is like ninety eight. Yeah, it's like something crazy. Uh, but two, I also correct that he's Jamaican because he's both his parents are from Jamaica. They're like have Jamaican accents. Yeah, uh, I mean his mother at least his father is not there. Uh, he's a stepfather, but uh, he's not African American. Right. Yeah, he's and Jamaican that's, American. That's like I and I, it makes sense, right? It makes sense to make that clarification. And I am just coming from someone who only knows Jamaica in the context of my dad leaving <laughs> to go t- to when I was in my mom's womb to to tell her he was going to go to the store and then he went to Jamaica for two weeks and he also just listened to reggae all the time. So that's like, that's that's what I grew up understanding that's your what that word <laughs> is. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, Zam. And so it's just really funny. It's kind of, It reminds me of a lot. Remember uh, Professor Pro? Someone was telling, <laughs> yeah. I think it was on Twitter. Yeah. Someone was like, how dare you talk uh, to this like African-American man? And then Professor that way, Pro yeah. react, uh, replied, he's like, and he's a guy from London who's black. He's like, I am neither African nor American. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was, that was really funny. <laughs> so, yeah, a little bit of a, of a, of a, a special little treat for Slime yeah. to just be surprised. It's like, holy shit. Is that the special little treat? Yeah. I think the special little treat is that my mom hates you. Do you not know this? Wait, for real? So on the podcast, Slime... With all this attitude, oh, says yeah. that uh, your oh, mom, your mom kind of has to an attitude. To set this up a bit, yeah, because because the viewers will only have the perspective of the YouTube video at best, right? right. Which is basically set looking at the background of your yard, yeah, that like yeah. back house and stuff, right? What is happening while Anthony is starting to explain that Ludwig's mom has an attitude? <laughs> off screen, like behind where Anthony and Nick are sitting, is the driveway. And Ludwig's mom is just standing there, yeah. listening to Anthony get through this entire sentence. So when you call her out, she's like waiting in uh, on it, the sidelines like to come in. It's like fucking Maury Povich. Yeah, like because uh, yeah. I didn't see her, and he's like, "Oh yeah, well come on down, mom." She was <laughs> yeah. waiting because she had to go to an appointment, and we wanted huh? her on. So she's like, "Okay, we got to get her on." So then she comes back. You walk it back like a bitch. You did walk it back. I, I of course. I'm it's tough. Back. I'm not gonna say like that. It's your mom. Bitch. It's your mom. You're- and so then what happens is you guys leave, the podcast comes out, and we watch the podcast. No. Yeah. <gasps> we watch the entire oh. segment with my mother oh. on the TV with the entire <laughs> family sitting no around. Fucking no way. way dude. All of us there. Yeah. What do you did you think that your words would not be heard when you said it in public? This is so funny. To be posted on the internet? Hey, I it, this is my L. And so then she the hears whole- slime basically like be like, yeah, she like kind of has like an attitude, like saying all this shit, and then which is like the worst thing I said. Don't say all this shit. Uh, yeah, he like said attitude. Said, Here's she's, the clip. She's Zipper's just gonna... sitting there while we're watching live because she was laughing at the early parts. She was just sad. 
Really? Yeah. She Are you, just you're sad. fucking with me. No, she was sad. Tell me the dead ass truth she right now. She is sad and she was just disappointed. She they didn't know what she did wrong. She's just reserved, I think. She's just a sweet woman. She was like, what did I do wrong? I don't know what I said that bothered him okay, so, so much. Okay, so so this clip, it was actually on LSF, which was funny, but Ludwig called me, and I was doing, I did this like long-ass stream, and he called me drunk, doesn't remember the conversation, but he called me to chew me out about this, mm -hmm. and it's live. <laughs> um, oh, wait, I think Zipper has it. Can you play it, Zipper? This. Yeah, do you think that's true, yeah. Ludwig? I think it's you. Yeah, how the fuck are you gonna resolve it? You don't talk about the llama schedule. What could I do to make it up to her? Sucker flowers. I mean, sucker fucker. I don't know what you want. <laughs> that's, not, that's not a me thing. It's a you so thing. I'm, I'm in over my head here. You lay steps. That's not me. That's I can't you. do anything. He keeps calling people. That's okay. Yeah. I think this is a good conversation to have. Listen. That's not on me. That's on you. So you're saying that I need to suck and fuck your mom? To make I'm this right, you use the platform to fuck her, so you might as well use the platform to suck her. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I think that for once, Ludwig, you're right. No. Amen, brother. And Amen. I'll do and I'll do what I need to do. Uh, I would hope. I would fucking hope. Wow. Well, this has been illuminate. Why are you so drunk? Hey, God bless and Merry Christmas, you bitch. <laughs> You? Then you hung up. Yeah. You then just, you hung up. You yeah. just Great got outro. on him about oh oh your words they're in the they're in the public. You thought nobody would hear them. What happens when your mom sees that That's clip, a good bro? Question. That's fine. It's a joke. Is it not a joke? What I said? No. I don't think the attitude thing was a joke. I think you thought she had an attitude. I don't want you to suck. He at and least fuck explains himself. He at least explains himself. <laughs> okay. Let me. All right. Fuck you, Ludwig. All right. Listen. Mm. I. Do, when I said that, it was me, I should have expressed, hey, your mom doesn't show a lot of love, and I am unsure of whether or not she is happy to have us here, and instead, I processed that, and I communicated that as something wrong with her. She has an attitude, and that was wrong to do. I will say, I did have the same initial, initial impression this went away after we started talking more. We hate your mom, dude. Of, uh, no, she, <laughs> of, she, she wasn't like, like psyched to have us there it didn't seem like i think she was i think yeah but she just doesn't display it right it's not so overt like i think if uh i, I don't know like if we all went to to like visit like my mom and she like met you guys or not well not for the first oh your time. mom's so pog no she your just pog no mom. she just be like very I, I think it's i think i literally think it's what you said on the podcast whines and bitches about boxing day all the time yeah about and oh, how my wasted boss is calling day. me on boxing day. Yeah, it's boxing day you can't bring them over in the north you can't have boxing day <laughs> we don't day have, have a nearly enough moose to eat why how dare well, you but where's the syrup <laughs> I think I think your mom is just reserved. And then once we started talking to her that night, like me, Nick, and Cutie just talked with your mom for like maybe maybe like 30, 45 minutes the first night we got there. And we got along really well, I thought. Yeah, I also had a conversation after the podcast. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, uh, just a long combo with your mom. And she told me actually all about you and like about her growing up. And she actually said some very sweet, beautiful things about her son that she loves. And, uh, yeah, and I was like, yeah, she's Pog. And so I was like, it was just, it made me, when you called and told me that, mm -hmm. and I knew you, I was like, you're telling the truth. And the reason why I said, I'm glad you told me this is because mm -hmm. now I know. Mm -hmm. And I, it, I, it's just my L to hold. And I will say, I, okay, I shouldn't have said that, and mm -hmm. I feel bad. That's all. I feel bad. But also, I will say, every time I looked at your mom with her big brown eyes. This, this, stop bringing this up. You bring this up so much. just like Ludwig's. Aww. And it made me want to cry every time. Aww. Okay. Because and then, it was just like, that's, this lady, this fucking lady here loves him so much. You used so those much. emotions to make her cry. Yeah. And you know now what, we're even. You know what doesn't make me cry? Coin base. Hey, coin base. Corn base is back at it again. It is coinbase.com forward slash the yard for $10 in Bitcoin we all right take it away dinosaur you guys can also fill out some quizzes for free cryptocurrency how much well you can learn and you can gain it's mostly about the learning but might as well have a little prize along with it you heard it from the dinosaur's mouth ten dollars in bitcoin or ten bitcoin <laughs> all yours just rng yeah. <laughs> Bit of a coin flip. If you no, but for real, it's ten dollars a Bitcoin. Uh, Coinbase.com slash the yard. 
uh, been a, a sponsor since day one. So they're day ones. They're mm-hmm. day ones. They are day ones, and I think it actually runs out at the new year. This is our last of this. This is our last coin run. bean. Uh-huh. This is our last coin bean. Unless read, we talk unless to coin re-up. bean again. So you'll know. So this is actually the day to go to coinbane.com. Yeah. And if you are a yard lover and are interested in crypto, because then we get a bunch of conversions and then they're like, oh, we got to get more money. That's true. <laughs> yeah. We need to get, we need to slide yeah. in home play. If you've been hesitant a, until now, you can Our help game us plan out. is to have Aiden go in like Andrew Garfield. <laughs> I'm, I don't want just half asshole. I'm Spider-Man. I'm, I'm coming, not coming back. You, you're doing Willem Dafoe more than anything. I'm Spider-Man. Give me, um, give me more, Zuck. Give me more. <laughs> By the way, so, uh, I got lit up, right? I was fucking, I was chopping off heads left and right in the uh-huh. comment section last episode about particularly oh, yeah. clapping in the theater. You were wrong. No, According I wasn't. To the masses. The, well, okay. Here's the thing. I, this is what I concede. I concede ground with all of you fucking pajama wearing Spider-Man lunchbox Nothing fucking wrong with pajamas. worthless drones. Here is my concede ground. I like Spider-Man. If you go to a movie that's like that, capital T, on the opening weekend and people are fucking acting all doing backflips and shit, you should expect that. And I was like, you know what? That's a good point. Yeah. If you go like a week later and people are doing backflips, you're allowed to be mad. And I think this is, I think we can all come across the aisle and shake hands and uh, call me not a psychopath. I, I actually completely agree with this take. (laughs) Because any any fandom movie like this, if you've ever been to a premiere for like any superhero movie or for any like the Harry Potter movies when they were coming out, if you went on opening night or like the opening weekend, there's always super fans there and people are psyched to see just shit they, they want to see, you know. Lunchbox, but if somebody's pulling that shit a week later, not having it, not having it. Because if you really cared, you would have been there last week. What if it's their seventh viewing? And they're psychopaths. <laughs> As an empath, I think you're right. Wait, who? Me, a proud empath. <laughs> no, who do you think is right? You are right in your concession. You have now joined the correct world. So we are. Em- you're an empath. I am the what group's am I- empath. Make that move with your mind. One of my right favorite now. tweets. One of That's my favorite not. tweets ever is is. Uh, I'm an empath, says the worst person you've ever met. <laughs> I've actually seen a bunch of those in TikToks, and that's why I like calling myself an empath yeah. as the least qualified empath of the group. Empath talk. You're just like like literally a cutting of- a homeless guy open, and you're just like, I'm an empath. You want to have a bit of an empath sesh? <laughs> okay. I was... Uh, uh, so I went I went to Canada for Christmas. Yeah, so Yikes. we went... The funny thing is that Nick got covid Right, and he had it this whole time. It was me, Zipper, Eamon, and Nick in a in a just a hot, disgusting, beautiful orgy of a room. Right, boobies flying around. Yeah, <laughs> dicks so you, in butts. It's, it's just you three though, so it's <laughs> it's a four of four. us. Oh. Uh, but but yeah, basically, Nick, like I was, we stayed in a hotel room with him. I drove him home from the airport. We took the same plane. I was in first class. Fucking baller. Eesh. I'm never <laughs> I'm never not flying. It was insane. I've, I'm changed. Uh, and then, <laughs> and then I drove him home in my car, and so we're just in this condensed area this whole entire time. He gets COVID test. I get a PCR test after I found out he is positive, and I don't get it, which I thought was crazy. So while this is all happening, Eamon leaves. He does not come home with us, and he goes off on his great Boxing Day adventure with his beautiful mom. <laughs> I. There were more relatives there than that, but yeah, I flew. I flew uh, to uh, Kelowna in BC, and I haven't been to Canada in like over over two years, which is like the longest period of time in in like my whole life. And uh, normal, like pretty normal, like vacation it was really nice. Reconnected with a bunch of relatives I hadn't seen in a long time. Saw Eamon, mm. saw see- Evan. Uh, you know, I saw the, them earlier this year. What's but the other one? Was it tough? Evan, it's Evan and Ethan. Did people struggle understanding you? Hmm? Did people struggle to understand you now? Because of bastardized my, American my accent. My hard American accent. Yeah. Your yeah, hard tough. California I accent. I swap into Canadian mode as soon as I go back Do you up. switch? It definitely comes back without thinking. I like was little things. Speaking a lot of French at home. Yeah. Talking about Timmy Hortons and shit. Yeah, you talk about Timmy's medium <laughs> double doubles the whole bit, you know? Mm-hmm. Nice. Uh, which which actually reminds me of something else. So while while uh I went skiing like while I was there and I haven't gone in a long time. Fucking love skiing. And I started watching some videos. Uh, of how to like improve my technique because like I'm pretty good uh, but I think the big thing is like I'm at a level where if I really want to improve it has to be like more more conscious 
And uh, I found this guy's YouTube channel just popped up in my recommended after I was like looking through like skiing videos and stuff. And his name is Steep Steep. And he used to make like videos of like this skiing video game, I think. But now he just like makes commentaries of like Canadian or like not Canadian necessarily, but just skiing mm. and like snowboarding the John competitions. Boy of yeah. skiing. He does yeah. basically like typical React content, but for ski competitions mostly and he's like super super passionate about it and he's like young larry and ticer doing react content he's the most canadian like, man yeah. i've ever watched is he funny or is he yeah, unintentionally it's so funny fun. it's so funny but it's so fun you, you know when you watch like an australian just kind of be an australian it's funny in that way because he's so overtly <laughs> like the, canadian like they're lizards in a tank <laughs> and, I, and i didn't know this but like a lot of the terminology when you get into like you know, if anybody's ever played like Tony Hawk, for instance, right? There's a lot of like trick terminology that goes with the, with the board, and a lot of that carries over to snowboarding. None of this is helping you, right? Improve? No, no. Now I'm just watching this <laughs> purely yes. for entertainment. You're like trying to figure out a kickflip and like, okay, so he's gonna do a Christ air right here. <laughs> yeah. No, this is exactly this is not helpful to my technique at all. But he's so fucking entertaining. And I didn't know that like a lot of ski terminology for tricks and stuff is just different because they don't use boards. So they just have totally different terms. And he is so psyched about every trick. Like he's just sitting in his room and he's, and he, you, he'll just say three nouns and then a number. And like, that's the trick. Mm. Like he fucking, Give us one. he fucking stogie McDouble mm. twist seven ten to that. Oh shit. Bro. <laughs> and, and and then he says, "Buddy," and he he like he sits up in his chair at the end of every trick, and he's just like, "Bud, fucking buddy," he just crushed that one, bro. He just crushed that, buddy. Did you like, did you just find like your actual Patronus? And, uh, yeah, yeah, it's this guy. It's, it, <laughs> and, and he's he's oh, he fucking he just Japan. Five ten cent that. Is he drinking and, Molson's and while doing these, this? Every video is like twenty minutes long, and he, this is him for every single minute of the video. He's so upbeat for every moment of it. This is it's like another language. I don't understand a word. I've skied almost my entire life, and I don't know any of the terms except for like grab. Like, yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> the rudimentary. And even if even if you have, know nothing about skiing or don't care about the sport, just go watch this guy's videos for like ten minutes. He's like he's like. He's like a golden. He's a Canadian golden retriever, just making mm -hmm. making videos. It, that uh, that reminded me, like, because I've just found John Boy. Like, I got algorithmed into watching pretty much every John Boy breakdown ever, and I was like, "Damn, baseball is stupid and boring, but I love this shit." Yeah, yeah. baseball baseball is interesting when somebody makes a highly edited narrative about it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude, I think you use my account because now I am getting nonstop Roman history videos on my homepage. <laughs> Dude, Fire of Learning is such a good channel because it's like it's literally this guy with like a shitty mic and just playing the same like seven pictures of like depicting yeah. ancient Rome. It's like a slideshow. Yeah, it, but you really have to pay attention because they're hours long, and it's like he's gonna tell you everything. You are gonna learn, but if you're not, if you're kind of checked out, too bad. I switched to a new guy. He does seven minutes. They're great. I There's love the hour, guy, bros. He does a series, and it's if you were a time traveler who went back to Rome, how to survive. Okay. Yeah. I saw a guy do medieval. It was like, he was like this weirdly, you know, it's kind of. There's something it, a little wrong if you're that into history. Maybe it's a, a <laughs> it's wrong to call this guy this, but it's this British guy. And he's like, he just seems perverse, but maybe he's just British. But, but either way, <laughs> he, has, he has this show where it's like, he tries to live the life of like a medieval peasant. And he had to like make a fucking fence out of poop. And like, so it's like prehistoric that YouTube channel where they only use prehistoric technology. Wait, I think this one medieval. It's not a. It it seems like it was syndicated for TV and they mm. just put it on YouTube. That's I how see. it feels. It's very like produced and kind of glossy like that. But it's just this guy who's like, why'd you hire him? The he's guy, cool. the main guy. He's just kind of. Oh, he's gonna hear his me crush. He's perverse, but maybe he's a normal Perver guy. This but, is another human slime made sad. Add it to the list. Do we have a okay. Google Doc going? <laughs> the, the, the People list, slime the is made sad. It's like Kuno, my wrong, mom, British guy. No, let me let me show growth. Hey, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> that's just like <laughs> that's just like saying something mean that's, and then being that's like, just like but an, I don't, an asterisk on the end of an otherwise hey, unchanging hey, opinion. You know what? I'm the weird guy. I, speaking of perverse Brits, this was on the this is on the last night of the trip. And, uh, to Canada. I, yeah. So I, I was staying up where, uh, up where you ski, the, mm. the mountains, big white, but then I came back down to Kelowna for the last night. Cause I had to leave super early to get back today. Both the mountain and the strongest guy in prison had the same name. <laughs> Kelowna. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yep. Buttermilk. 
and I, uh, it's my last night. Uh, I, I just wanted to go eat at like a nice, you know, like a, a nice ish restaurant. There's mm. this chain in Canada called uh, Cactus Club, and Canadians light them up if that's like Olive Garden. No, nah, it's a little nicer. I would say it's like it's kind of like cocktail bar-y restaurant ish. I'll Isn't let the like people a, decide. Like it's not like an Applebee's. No. I'll let the people decide. It's like it's definitely fancier than Applebee's, but it's a fucking chain. So it's a TGI Fridays. I don't think I've ever been in a TGI Fridays. <laughs> it sounds like a little yeah. better than a Red Robin. It's like it's not it's not actually <laughs> dude, fancy. Dude, America it's, sucks. it's not actually <laughs> fancy. It's just presented as fancy, yeah. and it's not like Applebee's to be clear. Okay. Anyway, I go. And uh, I'm just going by myself. I'm gonna go, you know, you. sit alone at the, at the bar. I do this. What happened to your family? I'm totally do cool they with not this. love you anymore? No, no. My dad drove me down because they're all staying for uh, one more day, and right. I have to be back for my flight. Does he not want to eat dinner with you when he drives you down? Uh, he doesn't love you. No, no, right? He, no, probably not. Why didn't he eat with you? No, he offered before uh, earlier. On in the drive, and, and I said no. Go, go for Why'd you I say stayed no? at the apartment for like an what? hour, and then I was like, oh, "Damn, I'm really hungry." That's Fuck. weird. You said no to eating with your father to eat alone at a restaurant. He look. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> That's weird of you. It's, it's kind of weird. That's it, fucking weird. I'm not gonna explain the the series of events that led up to That's it. That's like if I asked if you actually, to get if, Starbucks. If I give you the full timeline, it's gonna seem very normal, but it's not worth the explanation. If I asked you to get Starbucks and you said no, and then you went to get Starbucks ten minutes later. That's what you it's did. It's not ten minutes are later. You it's willing, like two hours are later. you willing it's like two hours. to not explain everything but accept the fact that you said no to your father who loves you? Fine. Fine, I will accept. Your father that. loves you. I wasn't Fuck hungry that. when I said he no. loves you. Oh, he wasn't hungry. <laughs> and mm, I, yeah. I mm. walk. It's by the way, it is it, the entire time I've been in Kelowna. Whether whether you're in the city or you're up at the mountain, mm, minus five. It bud? has been minus five to minus mm. ten Fahrenheit Tough. the whole fucking time. Fahrenheit. Mm. It's it's so fucking cold. And uh, I walk. Americans. I walk there because I have no other way to get to the restaurant. So I'm cold as shit. And uh, in the lobby are like two people, one of whom is is a British, and they're being like a little rowdy, like a little a little loud. And I'm like, oh, what, whatever. So I go and sit uh, sit at the bar. So I'm gonna get like a drink, a meal, whatever. And the two people that I saw earlier, they were waiting, and they come in a big group, and it's a lot. It's it's a it's a British family. Yeah, it's, they call it a a, a snipe. <laughs> when they walk together yeah. right right i forgot about that them in like seagulls and <laughs> is that true for seagulls? i don't know. i think a snipe is a group of some animal <laughs> i they're all very very british very loud and very drunk and one of them uh to sit at the bar next to me they need the chair next to me and they might be assuming that like oh somebody else is coming to meet me they're not i'm alone and i <laughs> but i i offer my chair up front <laughs> But I get into a conversation with the, this guy. Of course you do. He is, he's so interesting out the gate. I, sure, like some of the social anxiety, I'm sure, is is gone already because he's he's very drunk. But uh, we start talking. He, uh, he runs like an interior decorating business in the UK. And as the conversation goes on, he leaves these little like tidbits around that kind of imply his level of wealth like not intentionally so but i'm putting together the picture of like this guy's got this guy doesn't have like this guy doesn't even have a lot of wig money this guy has like fuck you money like yeah. fuck you money because so, he, he's talking to me he's like yeah I'm, <laughs> okay i got it it's so hard if you start australian and you try to slip into british yeah. it can't be done uh, okay, I'm Devo. <laughs> <laughs> I like how your prep for it is. I gotta guess. Uh, Wait, oh, you me fucking dickhead. I need you to go <laughs> Irish. You. You're Irish. No, no, no. You just fucking you you bell end. Okay, so he's gonna be like, oh, I'm a fucking interior decorator. That's Australian. Fuck! That's Australian. Dude, I can't do it anymore. All right, this guy's Australian instead, and he's like. Yeah, you know, I just like put some curtains up. I got my slide to do it for me. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the level of that's the tidbit. That's the level of well. That's, that's not a tidbit. I've been watching Roman history. He, so many people. <laughs> the thing that the thing that eventually yeah. the thing that really gives it away is he uh we're we're talking like the past few years, like what he's been up to, and he gets around to saying, like, oh well, when the pandemic started, we got stuck. We got stuck in Dubai for like six weeks. We couldn't mm. fly back. And uh, and he was like, yeah, Emirates gave me a call and they told me they're shutting down the flights for six weeks. And I was like, Emirates <laughs> called you? Called and, you? And I was like, so you were in first. 
And for those who don't know, like there's a difference between flying first class on like Delta, oh, where yeah. even internationally that ticket might be that ticket might be Couple nine thousand. grand at could most. It could be like yeah. flying to Asia on Delta it might be nine grand for a nice first class seat. Emirates is like round trip thirty k. You're paying thirty k for a lot. first class. It's a lot. For you like have to have dummy money to pay day for of Emirates your life, first class. It's a lot. And and then uh, I'm like. Holy shit! Like what? How how many houses have you fucking picked the the curtains for? Like I how do you get to this level of wealth doing interior decorating? Maybe I just don't understand this. Uh, and he and and then he shares like, oh yeah, me and my husband like I'm selling the business in like a year, year and a half. We're buying this uh, chateau in South France near Nice, twenty nine rooms. We're ready for like the next step in our life. And he's just so chummy about it. He's not bragging. He's just like, he is clearly so excited to live in this, on this 50 on this acre chateau. chateau in France with his husband. He, he has so he, many slaves. He has slaves. He has slaves. Whole, yeah, dude. Whole, slaves. You don't clean a 29 time. bedroom house without slaves. <laughs> the whole time. He's, he told me he's 54 and his nephew is also uh, very British, very <laughs> drunk and so the unfortunate whole time, for them. The whole time he's sitting behind, he's sitting behind us, and occasionally he'll just lean over. He's like, "He's my gay uncle. This is my gay uncle," <laughs> and and he'll give him a big like. He's from Jamaica. But, <laughs> yeah. and then he'll just, but then he'll go back to his own shit. Like he's like, he'll pour him a drink. He's like, "Get another drink. Get another drink. It's my gay uncle." <laughs> <laughs> he's like pouring a, pouring out of the picture. Like, it's made this one extra gay for you. Turns out, turns out this guy lives in L.A. He lives in wow. L.A. Now he's a scout. For uh, for an MLS team, what's crazy is that he is also like an uncle worth fifty million. But the f like the fact about him is still that he's gay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe yeah. it's just yeah. a he one just, syllable. He right? just kept. Yeah. He just kept saying say rich. it. Rich uncle. And he's my rich uncle. We uh, gay still more keep, interesting. We keep talking like this, and <laughs> as we get deeper into the conversation, they allude that uh that. The, the older guy that I've been talking to most of the time, he's not allowed back into the U.S. But they won't tell me why. <laughs> they kind of make jokes about it, but every time they make like a joke about it, oh, you won't catch this guy in Orlando again. Or murders, <laughs> like they 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 Dude. like backpedal. They like, no, we're just kidding. We're I'd just hate kidding. to be an Uber driver with this guy in the states. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I I. I'm like, this is so, this is so weird. Like you've traveled the world, you're very successful, but you're banned from entering the U.S. Like you can't, you can't visit your nephew. We get around to, we get around to a different conversation where he's describing his old life as a flight attendant before he started his interior decorating business. And he tells me about how, like when he was really young, he used to be like really fit, used to like work out and like run a lot. But by the time he became a flight attendant, he worked for like uh, Air New Zealand, I think, uh, he was like, he's he's getting a little big. He's getting a little fat, he says. A little thick. And one of his uh, co-workers, who is also British, on the uh, working for the same airline at the time, tells him like, hey, I have this thing that helped me lose weight. Check this out. It's this like, it's this little drug. You just take it every once in a while and you, uh, it'll help you drop a few, drop a few pounds. And he's like, oh, that sounds great. Like, how do I, how do I take it? And she's like, well, you can, uh, you can like crush and like snort it if you want. You could like inject it. I don't really do that. Uh, or what I do most of the time, I sprinkle it and mix it into tea and I drink tea. And he's like, okay, well, that sounds fine. Like, I'll try it. And he starts, uh, he starts taking this, this drug that she introduced him to. And at the table? At, no, no, no. A, a, as their flight attendant, the okay, first yeah, time yeah. is doing it on doing it on a flight. He sips the tea. He's like, oh, it tastes like shit. But it's like we're Brits. This is, seems like the easiest way to go. Oh, about I like. It. It. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> you literally you immediately go to Australia. Oh, I love I that. Oh, I love that. Fucking love tasting and, shit. And uh, and he he says like, yeah, I, I tried it, and uh, st I was eating less, ate some less in the meals, and I started losing weight. Like it worked pretty pretty well. And uh, I was coming in the States like a few months later and uh, I get like a random, like a random stop. And one of the security ladies pulls my, pulls my weight loss drug out of my bag. And in my head, I'm like, this is it. This is why he's banned from the United States. And, uh, but he's like, yeah, it's just like my weight loss drug. And the lady, the security lady, who's also rather big, tells him, she's like, oh, I could use some of that, honestly. Like, like she doesn't realize, like I, she just believes him outright. 
and he moves on. And in my head, I'm like, that's not what you got kicked out of the country for? Fucking carrying meth with you? He's been doing meth the whole time. It is meth? He's been sipping meth tea. Did he, he know? No! He didn't know this whole time. It's just his weight loss drug. He just thinks it's a weight loss Wait, drug. Wait, did you tell him this news? No, no. He realized he realizes way later. Okay, okay. So okay. he comes he comes back to LA. So he flew while he's still a flight international attendant. borders with meth. Yeah, he's been carrying meth for like a full like year <laughs> as his like weight loss supplement. And he's and it works. Like he he's he, thin now. It, he's thin, but like he's starting to get dangerously thin. Where like his friends are warning him, like, "What are you taking? To do this." And he's just like, "I don't know." It like got me down like a bunch of pounds, right? He comes to L.A. for like a a weekend uh, off of a flight, right? He gets there on Friday, and they're gonna go out Friday night, and he has to leave on Monday. And he they go out. He does his like. You know, he's fucking addicted to meth, not realizing <laughs> not realizing that his weight loss supplement this supplement is, is a devastating uncle. amphetamine. <laughs> my gay addicted to meth uncle. <laughs> and he was telling me about presumably sipping the meth the whole time because he never said he did it any other way. That's the other part that blows my mind is he's just he's making meth tea over and over yeah. to to lose to lose weight and feel good. That is the most British way to do a <laughs> scheduled fucking one substance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He takes he the least hard way he, to do drugs. He, he takes it while he parties like the queen. He'll t- he parties a lot, and he they're going out on the town in L.A. and uh he he remembers like after after like partying a bunch on that first Friday night, right? One of his friends asks him, "When are you going home?" He says Monday, and then he's like, uh, "His friend is like, oh, so you're here for the whole week," and then he's like. No, like I'm only a couple days. I'm leaving on Monday. And he's like, "What? That doesn't make any sense. What are you talking about?" And then he realizes that he has been up for 4 days. He has stayed up through his flight the following Monday, oh, and God. he is talking to his friend on Tuesday after his flight has already left. And the, and at this <laughs> moment, shit. this is like he said this was the moment where he realized like Oh, this might be a problem. <laughs> Dude, that is insane. <laughs> that got too far. And he quit. He quit. He he figured out that it was like meth and that he had a meth addiction. And he quit the meth addiction, which is apparently very hard. Yeah. But, I've, heard, I've heard it's not easy. Yeah. But this, this is like this whole thing unraveling of like, I just wanted to lose weight. I started accidentally doing crystal meth. I take it by sipping tea. Like surely and this you is have just, to buy it. This is just this man sitting next to me at the bar. I think he kept getting it through his coworker who just told him it was a weight loss supplement. There, there's holes in this story. I, well, okay. So it, it they do sell meth as a drug. It's for narcoleptics. It's called like D. De- it's Deoxys or something, the Pokemon. Yeah, yeah you, so, <laughs> you suck down Deoxys's cum, it, and then you lose weight. It is prescribed. So maybe it's like this person had a plug, or maybe they're just like getting it from Thailand or something. Yeah. That's where you get Xanax. So you end up talking to this guy the entire dinner? Yeah. We, instead we, of your we father, who you love? <laughs> we talk for, uh, yeah, for like a couple hours. I meet like the rest of his family. We talk a bunch too. Crazy, by the way, because his, uh, his sister was... Uh, was they they were asking like what I did right, and I basically introduced that the idea that I like work with like YouTubers and shit. And his sister was like, "Oh, my son here, like the youngest guy at the table, makes YouTube videos and stuff." And uh, I'm like, I start asking him questions. He doesn't know what Twitch is though, and he or he he says he knows what it is, but he doesn't like watch it. And then he didn't know who you were, but she Love knew that. who you were. She's the like mom? 50, like late 50s, early 50s maybe. She knew who you were, what Twitch was, like knew about like thumbnail you know and like clickbait slime? straps. You know about slime? It was crazy. Wow. You know about did slime? not ask. She bring you up. Did not ask. You didn't ask. Don't. She could be a yard We viewer. could follow up. She might be watching the yard. You might who be knows? watching the yard. <laughs> Do you hear my alt-right rabbit hole take? That was very funny. And that was a from funny, the yard to Ludwig to Atrioc. That was a funny tweet. Yeah. So, so to cap off the night, the whole time, by the way, BC has this rule. When you're sitting at a bar, you can have your mask off. But if you stand up, you have to have it on. And the whole time, the guy that I told you kept saying, oh, this is my gay uncle. He's, sh- he's the most drunk, for sure. He's having a great time. But he keeps standing out of his chair and he keeps getting fucking reprimanded for it. And uh, which is kind of a weird rule, to be honest. It's like It's like... No, when Stay- you're when you're vertical, the germs travel yeah, faster because it, it's higher and it falls down <laughs> yeah, like that's uh, right. like spit, like dust, <laughs> like yeah. dusty in the wind. 
and I I uh I like exchanged exchanged info uh with them and I got this text uh from the the older guy uh after I got back. It says, "Well, you got out at a good time. Police were called. Can't stand without a mask. Bloody ridiculous what the bar uh caused Chris. What uh, Chris went to the loo without a mask and got in trouble. Jesus, I've been to cocaine sex parties with less issues." This is the guy. This is the. Yeah, this you is have the, him on message. Yeah, dude. You text Eamon, him. Let Eamon, me see this. Eamon is gonna like. Yeah. Get, I also. I also have the other guy's number. Eamon is gonna end up in one of the twenty nine bedrooms of this fucking like actual like drug. Di- you know, what I was thinking like he kept saying he's interior designer. Maybe it's like a metaphor. Like uh, like in the Irishman, it's like oh, I paint houses. He are showed me their, their store. Like, he showed me their storefront in London. I can are you, show oh, you sure. After. Are you gonna be like their third, like a third, like uh, to the party perhaps? Oh yeah, you're Get the involved. fuck boy. Oh. Get involved. Oh. The fuck, they're young. He's gonna be the fuck slave. They're he, young, hairless. Call me by your name, boy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you're you gonna clean? be their their smooth yeah. little otter of a man. And they'll <laughs> and then you'll be walking around and they'll be like, oh, little Aiden. Oh. That it's gonna be your real life Nick. Chasing you around yeah, with I'll the be, British accent, yeah, for, asking making, for your prostate. Making bags, leaving Dude, a I, niece. I dated a girl who uh, she she had gotten in touch. Uh, it was like th- through Tinder, and this is a long time ago. She was telling me that she saw this couple every now and then, and there was like an older couple, and they they like treated her like a princess. They would like take her out, and they would like buy her food and stuff. And she was like, kind of like, yeah, this is fine. Like she was, uh, she was bi. She was like, you know, this is something. She's also adventurous. She's like, this is something I'm interested in. And uh, you know, like these people were like unicorn hunting or whatever. And she was like, yeah. So it finally came time where it's like I hung out a couple times with these people, and they're like, hey, we have a hotel room in like downtown LA, fucking swanky spot. And she's like, okay, I guess you know, I'm gonna have sex with these people. <laughs> and <laughs> she does not sound in. Yeah, yeah. So it, it, I, it was I more guess. like it was, calls. it was more like it was something she's interested in, but not like totally like you know. It sounds like she knew going about, in that she this might be in. an outcome. It was also she was like they were very nice, and anytime she was like I don't like this, they'd be like Yeah, okay, you know, whatever. But like they, it was, it sounded like a very fine agreement. It was very strange to hear about. Either way, she tells me so. You know, I go up and uh, they basically just they we didn't do anything sexual. They just literally laid down with me and just like, like talked to, to me, they like treated her like a, like a, like a little friend. It was really weird. And all, I just remembered this with you talking about this guy mm. and him being their I, sweet, sweet little otter friend. Aiden would love that. Though. No I could, sex. I could do this in the chateau. No butt stuff. No cum. And you, well, it'd be Canada, so it's fine. But- yeah, they would just talk to you. Uh, yeah, like I've enjoyed you guys f- fucking me and uh, and like cleaning the chateau, but honestly, I just don't really enjoy France. <laughs> so I'm just gonna head out. But like, thanks guys for like the offer. And honestly, all this Gucci clothes is really cool. <laughs> just, just I, okay. he's like trying to get the cum out of his jeans. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have a wonderful time in France. <laughs> That, yeah, so that's really exciting. That's the next chapter of your life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you decide to give well, up on the merch. You, you what did happen within that conversation is because his uh, his sister, who had a very clearly like a better understanding of just like online marketing and like the online world in general, she had been talking to him a bunch earlier that day about how he needs to be more like have more of a web presence for his business if it's gonna like carry on in the future. And then I, I like loosely described to him like a strategy. You know when you watch those videos about like fancy houses or penthouses. No, you've been watching Mad Men. I know. <laughs> I, you you, call it whatever. We want. Don't reprimand me like you didn't watch these videos all the fucking time like a year ago. Hey, moved on. Oh, you did on <laughs> yeah, stream. Yeah, moved on. So I'm just describing like what those videos are like and like kind of like what the titles and thumbnails of those videos are like to get young people to click on them, and. He's interested because like he just doesn't understand, but he wants to like expand in that area of business. And she's like, I've been telling him this all day. I've been tell- telling him this all day. She's like, you could hire him. You're leaving me to be a so, fuck slave who so does house tours? I'm going to go. I'm going to go advertise this interior design company on TikTok and move to France. Welcome to this five hundred million dollar house in southern <laughs> Spain. <laughs> I can't. You know what's funny is like in QuickBooks, you make up the titles right of your company and you write in what they are. I'm just imagining some accountant just typing in "fuck slave" <laughs> as your as your official title. You couldn't do a tour. 
No, I wouldn't be the tour guy. Could you? No, no, like I'm a not tour, the tour guy. like a nom, like a fuck. Yeah, like you a, couldn't do a tour. You wouldn't, you yo, wouldn't last a day a in a tour. Nom. Not even at that no, you, Best Buy. You, you wouldn't last a day as their little fuck rabbit. You wouldn't last a day. <laughs> last you wouldn't last a day. You wouldn't last a day. You got it easy with me. All right? I'll tell you that much. I, this one's for the fans. I'd be a oh. great. I'd be great at that job. Oh. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> Boss makes a dollar. I'd kill that gig. Kill that. <laughs> Fart right now. I'll give you a raise. No. Couldn't. The you couldn't do it. You just say no. You say no like you had it. Like, oh, that's so pathetic. Well, he's got the fuck slave money now. <laughs> You're like, you said no like you have standards. You just can't. I've fart. got a new income. I don't need you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about income. I got that outcome. <laughs> Be, speaking of income, you know what I watched six hours straight the other night? Mm. Train. <laughs> no. What? Dude, Still? I, I finally get. I I <laughs> never watched Train do slots or whatever. I never watched him really kind of at all. Yeah. And then uh, I was doing I was doing a spreadsheet. I was doing some sort of like work that I just I like to, to been put, eighteen months. Throw up a stream. Uh huh. And I just watched Train for six hours. And bro, that Yeti just keeps fucking him. And will not let up. It won't. He just needs one more map. Yeah. I wanna, just one dude, more, dude, just one more I, fucking map, bro. I when you posted about this in our group chat, he's talking about the, these these trade vods, right? So I go to look because at the time, train has been live for thirty two hours. <laughs> yeah, that's and his I'm thing. like, I, I wanted to see because I was like, oh shit, that is so much time. I guess he actually does do that every once in a while. I go to look at the vods. His last four videos are all. 44 plus hour streams yeah, yeah and dude. i message anthony and anthony just said yeah dude he's gonna die <laughs> <laughs> yeah i did and, say that uh, and yeah <laughs> i i i agree like your body yeah. just can't he, do what he's it's doing it's gonna give out you, yeah, you literally will. cannot live life the way he is living it for much longer and i tuned in when he was when he's like on hour 32 or whatever right no cam just a fucking emote in the corner. That's right. He sounds like a broken man. I subbed. I subbed because I wanted to chat. Because I wanted to say, play. I wanted him to play a game that I thought was cool. And I su Dude, I primed. What? I primed so Why? I could be like, play the rat one. You know there's 20,000 people. And that he yeah, but maybe it. he sees it and he's like, oh, no, I'm not going to play the rat one. Fuck that one. <laughs> like, I, I, I wanted to play the, him to play the rat one because it was hype. Also, I tuned in and he's like, his balance is 2.5 million. Yeah. And I'm like, Zam. And I, I, I screenshotted that and I sent it. I was like, Okay, he's at 2.5 million. That's crazy to me because it's the first time I've seen it. And then I just watched him lose like 500K. He is so much richer than me. Dude, how? He has so much money. Th this, is, this is what I don't understand, right? He's playing the game. He is losing more than he's winning. Uh -huh. No, I, I, I is mean, he just, yes, is he, he is. getting paid so much by the gambling company that it's just plus EV to do it no matter what? Yeah, I know. Okay, it, I do not think the rate at which he's gambling in the uh, the amount that he is gambling is plus EV. I mean, he's probably like still breaking even or going positive for how much he's making. Do you from know the how much he gets paid? Yeah, really. I generally are you know allowed to disclose it? No, no that's a no. definitely a, 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 after Zipper turns the lights off. Certainly we not. Talk some, but we it, talk some numbers. He said he said before that it's it's like it's millions that he's getting paid. And uh, and so he's I don't know it, it's like I he, I think he just has a gambling addiction dude, dude he's yeah a, obviously he's a I mean, psycho as someone who has a gambling addiction he does and it to be able to watch him do it and kind of like feel it without risking any money is is honestly really hype yeah like I I am not kidding I didn't just like I just watched him play those slots dude. And I was like, Horrifying. damn, I want to be like that. Sometimes he hits a good one, too. I dude, can't believe and he has his, clips viewers, of his, can't his viewership has gone up. Well, dude, it's that's, hype. I can't believe it. because he streams for 40 hours. Because, like, the longer you stream, especially if you cross over the 24-hour threshold, you will accumulate more and more dead viewers. And then the original oh. viewers at the peak hours will come back. People are falling asleep with this stream on. Yeah. And then they wake up, and he's just... That Yeti just keeps fucking going. It's like the subathon, going. dude. Like the subathon, I had a lot of viewers, and it was a lot of dead viewers. And anytime I'd hit the 48-hour mark, which is where Twitch automatically resets your stream, I would lose a shit ton when I go back live. Because all the people who are watching, like, passively, or who aren't at the computer, it shuts down on huh. that. And so, uh, yeah, it's crazy. But, you know, it's... It, <laughs> I, I, I just, I'm like, damn, I, I have a, when he's not on now, I'm like, oh man, I, hope, I found a streamer that I like. I hope he's okay. 
Oh, dude, uh, I don't think he's going to be okay. It's like Icarus, bro. Like, you know, it, he has enough money to be set for life. And it's like the more he does this, presumably the more he'll have. And he could end right now or he could end later to have more money. Eventually, there's a point where it's too late. <laughs> how, the, yeah, how your old body is, he? is the how old coil. Is he? 30 something. He's in his 30s? Yeah. <sighs> Shit. Uh -huh. he, see, he I, missed, I, the, he I missed want, the 27 window. I want to say he's in his 30s. I would Drain, hate to miss the If you end up watching this the somehow, I want you to know I love those fucking streams. But also, if you quit to become a healthier person, I wouldn't blame you. 31. Bo's in the house. You are also 31. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, what is God? He's so, such a. He's going to die. He's I was, at, I was going to die. I, I was at the uh, shit camp, right? And uh, and I'm trying to like wrangle everyone for the first stream, and it's gonna be on XQC stream. And I'm like, where the fuck is he? And I keep running around. I finally find him. He's inside the house by himself with all these streamers here, just gambling, like offline. I love that. DJ spinning. Oh, I love and that I'm like, so dude, much, dude. What are you doing? They're just like us. And it's like streamers it's are just like, like us. He's just rolling thousands. Don't say yeah. He's rolling thousands. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Because <laughs> you got to bet a lot to feel something. You said us. No, yeah. Us. No. I'm not like this. Yeah, not yet. And don't say it like that. It's it's soon. He's I just walk. Like, he's you just know I walk. Plogging. He's like, no, dude, I, I made like, dude, I made like so much this month. Like, and he's like, he's talking about how it's okay because he's he's made money. Dude. And I'm like, yeah. But also, we are here together now. You can hang out. No, there's action. Yeah. There's action. There's always, ac there's always action in online gambling. Yeah, that's, and that's hype. <laughs> I might be sounding like a, a hilarious contrarius right now, but I genuinely, man, I love gambling. You, you also used to be a freak gambler. Uh, so well, what, how did you change this? The rush because of gambling for me was betting all the money I had. And now it's gone. Now it would be unreasonable to bet that with so many people's livelihoods at stake. Yeah. So I can't do that. No, that's good. And so the rush is kind of gone for me. No, that's cool. I, I do like my job. Dude, imagine you could gamble employees and it's like you like put Amon. You could mm. bet me on like a chess match. Yeah, and you get two Amons back. Dude, I would actually gamble your life away if I could. <laughs> like in anime, I would do that. <laughs> like a Kagi? Yeah. Blood Wake! You would... misclicked 50k on football tickets. That's basically my my net worth. Well, no, you I... gambled. You misclicked me away. You didn't even gamble me away. Well, you misclicked you. me really, away. That's really funny. All right, I'm gonna call in the air. Uh, uh, Zipper, can you can you coin flip? Can you pull up a coin flip? You just type in coin flip in Google. Wait, 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 wait. No, wait, 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 wait. Let him work. Hey. Wait, what let him work. Hey. What He's clutching right now. He's what clutching. All right. So wait, pull up a new tab and do it again, and I'll tell you when to pull pull it up for us so we can see it, and then I'll call it in the air. If it if it's heads, we we win. We win big. All right, I'm I'm give you a crisp dollar bill. If it's tails, you die. We're going for it, baby. Flip that coin zipper. Pull it up, baby. Ooh. Oh. oh what? Fuck. So Amen dies. Can we yeah. do? It? If this is roulette, can we do it after the episode? And you, and oh, you bet dead. one Amen. You're that's dead. That. Uh, hey man, pleasure. Holy shit. Meeting you. Damn, that sucks. We have to replace Eamon now. Yeah, That's well, annoying. Hey, move him. Swap oh. him now. Hey, guy. Welcome. I meant for the merch company. Oh, this guy didn't wear clothes. Yeah, I ain't worried about that. <laughs> Real quick. Wait, I, I, are we at time? We are at time, Okay, yeah. before we do, I told Nick we'd call him um, because I think- Oh, for the yard? That I think we should do something because for the it's yard New Year. It right? is New Year. And I think we should go around and say our New Year's resolutions. Okay. So I'm going to call Nick. All right. And I'm going to FaceTime him. And he'll be he'll be our first, and that allows you guys to think about what you want. Well, I will feel because I know mine coming in a twenty twenty two guys. I've had a, a the best year of my life twenty twenty one. So it's a pretty hard thing to topple. What I would like most though is some better organization of shut the fuck up finances. Shut the fuck up. I literally sat <laughs> more controlled we, we, spending. We, we, talk, we talked today about some stuff like some some further mogul moves. Uh, honestly, he's got some big plans, and I was like. So there needs to be someone that's in charge of this and this and this. And he's like, yeah, I think that th that like we can do that. And I'm like, we don't need another person to do this, by the way, if you just tell me that it's happening. Like, you can just tell me when something like this occurs and I can help out and we don't need to like wait for a company to give us like $100,000. We can just have it right when they say. And he was like, yeah, okay. Like he's listening now. I don't know what it is. Let's I don't know what got into love. Was it the 54K that fucked with you or something? Well, it what wasn't. Got in you? It wasn't great. 
certainly. You know, I've I, seen you. I've seen you at less. I I'm well. Look, more. I have now a plethora of employees. Where where now I can can I say I'm at ten? Yes. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. You fucking. So I gotta I gotta you know I gotta take care of it. I gotta make sure the finances are all good. But you'd still gamble Nick Yingling on a blackjack table. I would bet bet Amen. But not Nick. If I had to double down, if I lost Eamon. Okay, so if you split... I'm still being okay, bet first. Eights, eights facing a nine. Uh -huh. You split. Uh-huh. Uh, and then you get a three. Uh-huh. And then we double with Nick there. Uh-huh, yeah. But Eamon... I need a third now because I'm doubling down. Right. Then uh, that's Nick time. Okay. But so Nick, Nick's, a, Nick's an 11. Yeah. But Eamon is like uh, you're six facing a... Facing a ten. The cards come, don't lie. Come on, man. The cards don't lie, bro. Better than that. Hey, whatever happens, happens. Call, <laughs> all right, call up Nick. What's your okay? All right, all right. Call up Nick. Well, Let's tell find his actual resolution. resolution. I think that's a resolution of mine. Is is better organization throughout the year, Will like an actual meetings agenda meetings. You have meetings with me? Sure. Yeah, I'll it? have I'll have meetings. You mean it, Pop? I mean it. I mean it. Pop <laughs> means it. All right, I'm calling Nick. Uh, and I think expanding on the other stuff. You know, I'd like to continue climbing. Oh, I look funny. I'm quite. The, I'm quite the climber. All right, I'm gonna try to make Why it so he's making like making it face? He's like with us. Just you just put him in the mic. This just should no, be but an I audio to thing. FaceTime him. Yeah, but why? He will. They won't see the face. No, they can. Hey, you move the dinosaur. Hey, what's up? It's move like you're. It's like you're here. Wow, how's it? Welcome to the yard. Put you gotta put him right into it's it. It's like I'm there. Hold on, hold on. I gotta put him right into it. Speaker. Nobody, nobody it's all about money now. to him now, isn't it? Okay, so you said it's like you're here, but you get to make the money and not do the work. That is crazy yeah, because exactly. I am it the does, one that clicks the button. It is a little button. disheartening that you're all throwing a party, it looks like, and I'm not there, which is kind well, of Well, it's New Year's. New Year, New Me. Kind of a New Year's so. ep, ep, so. How's it going? So anyway, happy, we, we wanted to call year. you. You look so deathly sick. From your disgusting little COVID dungeon. One, gross. how are you mm -hmm. feeling? How am I feeling? Yeah. I feel like fully recovered at this point. That's even, it? Even his fractured immune system can... Uh, I feel very surreal. I haven't left my room in like eight days. Yeah, what uh, changed? It's, ah! <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, that, that's crazy, man. What's your New Year's resolution? New Year's resolution? Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't have... Um, I literally asked you... I want to I wanna, I wanna, I wanna hit a V6. Oh, uh, he wants to do a two rock somewhat climbing resolution. Climb. What's wrong with you two? Yeah. So, do you think that's a good New Year's resolution? Yeah, to do in one year. Yeah, yeah. it's would be pretty hard to get. To can there. you can you rephrase this in melee terms for me? Um, he wants to be I chilling, want, dude. I want to get a win <laughs> on a top fifty player or a top no. hundred player, maybe. No. You know, it goes to like V fifteen, bro. No, a top one hundred player is not is not that hard. You, dude, bro, you're talking about beating Nick Yingling. Yeah, you're talking about beating no, Nick Yingling. No. We're bad climbers. Uh, yeah, I, in in, I, in I, if I, if we I, translated I, your I, melee I, skill into a into a rock wall, you're already hitting V five. You're hitting V eights, V nines. No, you're crazy. You know, it goes to V fifteen, right? All the climbers I know that climb V6 level have been climbing for more than four years. Okay. Well, that's actually pretty ambitious then. Yeah. yeah. I think you could hit one. It's so, yeah. They're all kind of arbitrary. I think you could beat Chillin' Dude. <laughs> all right, Slime, what's <laughs> your New Year's, New Year's resolution? Uh, my New Year's resolution, it's, okay, this is, all right. I will, I thought of this. I'm going to tell you guys after the show, because if I say what it is, people will try to ruin it. But it's an endurance thing. How about be nicer to my mother? I will not do that. <laughs> yeah, stop, stop bullying That's... mothers. <laughs> no. Or humans. No. My mom in hell didn't die for nothing. What? Just to, for me to have to be nice to your goddamn moms. Yeah, that's fair. That that's makes fair, so much man. sense. Yeah, I hope you beat all of hearts, you child. I'm uncomfortable now does not mean you're right. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, what's yours, Eamon? By the way, Ludwig said his resolution, Nick, was to make, uh, do more, be more organized. That's, that'd be great. I would love that. Yeah, I said the same thing. <laughs> then I would achieve all of the power stones. Shut the fuck up, Ludwig. It's all, right. all I'm missing. What's yours, Eamon? I want to get 
a plethora of retro Plus. video game consoles and then put them in resin oh. to create a decorative, <laughs> decorative did I, piece. Did I miss this talk? Good we goal, didn't talk about bro. it at all. No. No, what? What? Why is that funny? That's, I, that's a fire goal. I'm with that's you, brother. Funny. Yeah. It I seems like a shit. cool it seems like a cool activity and or hobby to be into. Dude, this this that news story is a nothing bomb. It's a nothing burger. Yeah, I, Dex Cerdo will write about it. I think it's more people outraged at the very few people up, uh, upset about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the backlash to the backlash is bigger. Nick, have you ever sat in a seat up here that isn't yours? Uh, Yeah, I sat in all of them. It's like fucking surreal. I sat in your chair once and I was like, this is not, I was going to have a panic attack. Yeah, Aiden's is the worst by far. Why? Well, it's more oh, the perspective. It's, it's not like the chair a chair. It's like. His position's, his position's fine. It's just construct is the worst. I just, when I, when I see the world the way you look at it on this podcast, I'm like, Zam. All right, well, we're at our time, anyway, Nick. This is our so guy. Go, this is who we go. replaced I have the you. worst chair. I'm getting gambled away first. Hey, yeah. you're already you're, dead. So you you, hate, not you made a video mango. where you hate me. Did you hear that Mango tier listed our house for his favorite people? Did you hear that? Really? No. If yeah, I had I to guess, you, I can tell you the order. it goes yeah. slime. No, no, no. no. Well, Aiden? You're wrong. Shut up. Let me do it. I know the answer. <laughs> Let him do it. Number one, cutie. Number wow. two, slime. Number three, me. Number four, Ludwig. Number five, Aiden. That's fucking what right. What the no, fuck? No, that's fucking right. And he actually has a good reason. It's because you didn't follow the goat. It's not because of that. Which well, should be. It's because of the plop thing at Smash Summit 9. It's because of the. It's because of. Uh, it's because he didn't make it out of pools after he lost right. three. Oh. It's because he lost the seed. And I, I miscommunicated with also, him. Also, Nick's real cocky. He plays one Valorant game, he's bottom of the list. That's true. That's true. You, yeah, when, you bu when you get 4,500 credits, it's over. Or what have I done? Why am I at the bottom of the fucking defense. list? My defense is that he was talking about me playing Valorant before he said the list. So he had it on his mind. He just forgets, dude. <laughs> Once he plays Mario Party against you, it's over. <laughs> okay, well, listen, All right, COVID Nick, boy. This, is, this is who replaced you. We actually got kind of used to him, so... All right, shut Dude. up. Goodbye, COVID boy. We don't care now. No, Please. no, let him oh. let him take out the show. Okay. All right, take out the show. All right, take out idiot. the show. What's the clickbait? What's the clickbait? Um, damn. I yeah, I got COVID nineteen, and now I have breasts like a woman. <laughs> Are you gonna show them on the on the primo? On, on the primo, on the premium, I will show my my new supple breasts. Wow. Whoa. And then nice. on the next episode, Didn't the, know about this. the next normal episode, we'll, we're going to suckle them. That's so we're big. Gonna, we're all going to gather around me like a Why don't you do a Q&A for the special <laughs> like I did? Shut the fuck up, Ludwig. Yeah, I'm the only one that fucking works in this group. All right. Hey, thanks for watching The Yard. Yes, bro. Thanks, for COVID, for not killing our friend Nick. And uh, thank you. I also hope COVID doesn't kill our accountant who has it. And she's a very sweet lady. Wow. I found that yeah, out our today. Money got COVID? That's crazy. Dude, dead ass. I I'm like, hey, you know what? You better our take it easy. COVID. Uh and we'll see it and we'll see you on the primo All when right. you can see, see Nick's giant right. breasts. Let's go.